Alright, what's going on, y'all? Back here with another video. I know we haven't recorded in a little minute, but we back with another pod. Um, follow me on all socials. The only see on all socials, Instagram. You know, Snap. I just got my Snap back up, but Snap and just all platforms. The only see. You feel me? And uh, today we just gonna get straight to it. First question today. How are you in your self-development journey so far? I'll start. I feel like my self-development has came a long way and in the past couple months, you know, just letting things go. Like if you, if you can't really control it, if you know you're in a situation to which you can't control a lot or can't control another person, just try to let it go. Try your best to let it go. And yeah, that's how, that's how I just feel. That's how I'm going about things now. It's like getting older and stuff. So I'm just starting to just like let things go if I know that I have like no control over like a certain individual or like the situation. But if I have control over the situation, you know, if it's bad, I'll still let it go. If it's good, like going stuff going on good in my mind, I just keep pushing and stuff like that. Just knowing, oh yeah, I made this mile. I hit this milestone. Now it's time to go deeper. You know, now it's time to go further. So. Yeah, I feel like I'm I'm doing good. How about y'all? <laughs> Why are you passing to me like that? Um, self development, man. It's like a um up and down kind of thing. Um, I feel like I'm doing good one week and then the next week is good. Like throughout the week, staying busy, um, just bettering yourself, and then the weekend hits and shit, kind of just like lose track, yeah. progress. And, but it's an up and down thing. It's, all, it's uh, more 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 good than bad, but we're getting there. That's how it's going. How about you? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna come up. That's all I know. <laughs> I'm gonna come up. Um, self improvement every day, physically. Definitely mentally, shit. Maybe improving financially too. So right now, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just chilling right now. I'm chilling because I'm about to have a lot of shit going on soon. So I'm just catching take it, you know, catching a vibe, taking it all in before fucking the storm come. And I got, I'm gonna be all, I'm gonna be everywhere doing everything. You know I mean. That's tough. I fuck with that. That's good. And uh, I think I'm gonna just flow with it. I don't. I don't think you think. I don't think we should go like questions. I think we should just flow. That's All right. So true. far as like with your day to day life, how are you working? Like instead of the long term, like day to day, when you go through things, how do you just like? How do you deal with it? Like do mm -hmm. you do you shut down? Do you attack it? Like what do you do um, at that moment? Um, you said like going through things. Like yeah, how like I deal just with going it? through things in life. Like when you go through it, like just in that development, like how how, like say if something was to happen right now, how do you deal with it? I'm gonna be honest. It really depends on how I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it depends on how I'm feeling. But the majority of the time, anything in life, I just fucking, I always analyze it yeah. first, and then I go for it. I deal with it then. Yeah, analyze like what I'm about to do. Then I, I act on it. Damn, that's that's a good thing to have because I feel like I'm complete opposite. I feel like I what? do yeah. I do too much and then I come back and analyze it and be like, damn, nah, maybe I, I did too much or maybe I didn't do enough or. Yeah, I think everything I do, that's I always the worst think feeling. Over, think that's, over. that's the worst feeling getting out of a situation or like like going through something and it's like at like once the outcome come, you just think, oh yeah, I could have did something different yeah, you or like I could have like you mm -hmm. look back at it and be like, yo. My mindset was this, and the reason why I acted upon it, like, I respect, like, my mind at that point, because I'd be like, damn, I did this, I should have did this, but I got to respect that I did that, because that's how I was feeling at that time, that was me, like, that was how, like, that's my purity, you feel me, so, like, after, like, just reflecting on it, and be like, damn, I could have did something different. Yeah, and if you I go the Jesse sometimes. route, Jesse route, that's what you need to do. I don't reflect during, though, I reflect after, because it's like, I had, I tend to, like, just, I tend to, like, be a man of, be a man of of less words now, because it's like when you when you go through something, 
and you just talking too much and you like or you mm -hmm. just like try to exp like when you explode like it makes the situation worse mm -hmm. like for the person that's in it or just for you like even if it's like dealing with certain things like i don't know i just try to like just like think of be in my brain 24 7 like i'm thinking of shit in my brain 24 7 i'm just dealing with like my mind and stuff like that or, like if this happened if fucking i get a flat tire and now i got kicked out a couple dollars like i'm already preparing myself for situations so when it come like it's like I'm just going through it. You feel yeah, me? So that's, I, that's what I do too. Like, oh hell no! With a lot of shit, like, like this, I don't think about that. Before you I got you though, bro. You have I to. I swear, anything yeah. that Sometimes I'm gonna do this. or anything that I know I'm gonna do, I already think about. Like I vision exactly me doing it. Mm -hmm. So like when it comes, it's less like anxiety and shit. Like, like I'll put it for example. Say before. I go talk to like a girl or some shit. Yeah. Everything that I already ready to do with her, I already I already envision it. Everything I'm ready to say to her, I, I envision it. And then I go about doing it that way. Cause I don't like one thing about me, I don't like fucking awkwardness. Like, yeah. I hate that shit. It's you try to love that everything. shit. I you love you said awkward? Yeah. I love that shit. It's the most uncomfortable shit. shit for me. I don't know. Like but like at the same time, it shows like nothing. I don't think we're awkward people though. Like, I'm not. Like we're talking, some, so it's like oh, some awkward. people. It just it gets because you're not really that talkative. Right? I just I just like it's not even that. Just like I just laugh about shit. Like I just yeah. don't really care. Like I troll sometimes, but yeah. mm -hmm. when I can, because yeah. like that, I feel like that's the best way to like kind of like approach most things, especially mm -hmm. when you don't care about something. It's good to laugh. It's good to laugh. Especially yeah, that, yeah, laughing is fucking. Not, I feel like, like, but not in certain situations, though. You're not, no, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, hell no. Yeah, no, yeah no, certain situations, if we're like talking about like dealing with like, Laughing female, can dumb down a lot of situations, though. Absolutely. It can dumb it down. Like, like it, it could be some serious shit, like, but like, <laughs> like you, if you laugh it off, it starts to make like things just easier for some weird reason. I don't know. Like when I said, um, that big dumb stupid bitch or whatever I said. Yeah. Like, like I was just laughing that off, but like yeah. deep down, like, fuck. But I really that is that is like okay. it, it's I don't but I don't have that my 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 like defense mechanism is like when I get in situations and like dealing with a female I just get quiet because it's like what what do I if I say something I'm wrong if I do say something I'm still wrong so just so say it's like just say nothing <laughs> just say it no if it's something that yeah, you, you, yeah, you if it's something that it, you can't, you can't hold everything in I don't have shit to say I just don't I literally shit, I don't be having it. nothing to say because it's like. If you going through like how you say like when you planning steps ahead when stuff go on even if it's not with a female nothing I have, I have to say nothing just because it's like first like I said I don't want to blow a situation up or number two I just be like let me just think about what like my actions and just think about like collect my thoughts because yeah. like when your shit cloudy up top you really don't know. Like, you really don't know, like, what you do. Like, you liable to do any fucking thing. I just make sure, like, you know I mean? like, every time, every time I feel like my brain get fuzzy and I get off, like, I get off task or, like, the goal, mm -hmm. I just go, like, do something that works towards that goal or I just do that goal. Like, yeah. like it'll be sometimes I'll just be in the bed, like, and I'm like, damn, I really could be doing something, like, important right now. Yeah. Like, I actually be doing some shit right now, but I'm just sitting here in the bed, like, mm -hmm. maybe, like, on my phone or some shit. And so I'll be like, you know what? Let me get the fuck up. Let me shut up. Let me start shadow boxing. Let me work yeah. out. Let me do this. Let me go for a run. Or, like, think, or like yesterday, like, I was chilling, and I ain't gonna lie, I was, I was kind of high. But, like... You said you were done smoking, like, ten times, though. I did stop. I did stop. I swear I did. But, <laughs> I, I, I promise you I did. You can ask, you can ask Mario. You obviously did it. You said you did I did, I promise That's you. That's crazy. Yeah. It's been three weeks? I'm going on fucking three years. I'm a person who smokes a lot. Three years. Three years. Like, three years. Like, three years. <laughs> I think it's life for me, but shit. I'm but like, like that's good though that you found that. Like, mm -hmm. That's what but, you do. But listen, I um, I was uh, yeah, I was just chilling, and I realized like I'm not doing nothing right now. Why don't I just work on some music? So I opened up my computer, just hopped on FL, started working on. But some what music you shit. need to do is, cause when you that's a form of distraction too. What? Like when I so like, it might it's a good thing that you're working on your future. But like when you get that cloudy mindset, like
Like, you just gotta, bro, I, wa I was watching this video and Denzel Washington said, when you wake up early in the morning, just take time to yourself to just sit and think. Like, you I feel me? No, no, I don't got time. Yeah, but you have to. I don't give a fuck if you're driving home, if you're driving to work or anything. Oh, well, yeah, when I drive to work. No, just any time. Like, even when you get up, like, get up a couple seconds, a couple minutes earlier and stuff like that and just, be like, just think. You got to take time to think. Impossible. You have to. Anytime. I don't care what you I do. I can't think about nothing in the morning. Think. Try to. It, you, there's no way that you can't. You can never say that you can't. You, you got to work about something. Bro. Even when you get up, you just like, I got a couple seconds to just think. Just think for a couple fucking seconds on the edge of your bed. Just if think. If I do some shit no, like you that, know, the majority of the time, I sit there on the edge of my bed and think. Of what type of person I want to be? I mean, yeah, damn. That's who I. That's what I good think. people. I be thinking, fuck this world. Fuck, I don't feel like going to work. Fuck nah, it, I do that shit to clear my head. <laughs> I do. Will be times where I'll I'll wake up mad as fuck. It ain't like, nothing to, to fucking look forward to in my mornings. Mad as shit. I gotta fucking prepare for or 10 I hours might wake, I might wake up. I gotta get up and y'all gotta get up in this. I don't want to get mad at all. I do. Yeah, but y'all don't gotta. Fucking I be like, I I only say like, damn, I gotta go to work. When I'm like talking, I'll be people. pissed off. Like, if I'm talking like one of y'all, just be like, damn, I gotta go to work. But I just be like, I be looking forward to shit. Like, I look forward to like going to school. I look forward to, I look forward to something. And then I be thinking in my head, like, bro, I work around with a bunch of old people. I like, just imagine what the fuck they do when they wake up. And they've been doing this shit for 60 fucking years or, or 50 years. Well, I've been doing this shit for a couple months. So it's like, I'm still looking forward to something, but I didn't. They, I don't look at the. I don't look at bad things. Like I don't look at things. It's like bad all the time. I don't know. I don't really look at like a it's lot of things crazy. bad. They come in. Like, you gotta let. You gotta let shit go. All right. But you just gotta let some shit go. Like, I just let shit go sometimes. I do too. It's not like it's not like I wake up and I'm like I let it just like dissolve out my brain. Like I'll be like, you know what? I could really sit here and get mad over this situation, upset. Like nigga, and I guarantee you, in about like three days, I'm gonna forget it even. Yeah. So why not just forget it now? It wasn't even like True. I was, I've, I've always That's been tough. like. Fuck with I haven't always been like fuck work, fuck this, fuck that. I don't want to wake up. Mm -hmm. But it's like when you really don't have nothing to look forward to that day. It's like why you want to go to work? Mm -hmm. I can just stay home and get myself free. And I feel you. It's not like I'm waking up like I hate everybody because I go to work friendliest person. I'm saying what's up to everybody. I'm, I'm having a good time. I got my music in. I'm doing my work. I'm doing what I gotta do. Yeah. But I don't wake up and be like, damn, all right, great, great day. Here we go, guys. Cheers. Let's go. Fuck no. I wake up, want to go back to bed, and never wake up. It's hard. Yeah, yeah bro. Shit's gonna get better, but when you think about it, when we like, get money, when we get money, bro, it, even if you ain't gotta work, you still gonna have that fucking thought because now. You gotta take care of your mom. You gotta take care of your sister. You gotta take care of your dad. You gotta People take care of that's, that's, that's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm you're gonna, gonna say. take care of everything. Like I know my situation. Yo, the 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 shit that you think about right now will never go away. Like it will. It money will never solve that. Even when you get rich and shit, you still gonna have your mom. You still got your sister. You still got your little brother. I still got hella girls to take care of. So it's like, bro, it's never gonna go away. So it's like you just mm -hmm. deal with it. You just gotta put that shit in the back of your head and just say, bro, I'm not gonna lie though. My mom, to, I told, I was talking to my mom the other day, and she she was uh, telling me she was like, I, I don't need. She was telling me not like she don't need me to take care of her, but like she just wants me to enjoy life. Yeah. Like she was like, I'm gonna always be good. I told her I was like, you know, I'm always going to be here for you and everything. Yeah. Like you know, that's just what, what we want to do. What's mine is yours, and she was like, I understand that, but like you don't, you don't have to do that. Like, um. We're, I'm perfectly fine. She was like, you can you can be the richest person on earth. Mm -hmm. and you still, I still love you. Yeah. So. That's good. I like those type of people. Because when you got those type of people, nigga. But obviously, you don't want to get your mom into like a stable situation. Like, yeah, you yeah. got, yeah, that's that's just what you're going to want to do. But it's no, like, obviously. you're going to, even even when you don't, even when a person don't want to be taken care of, the type of people that we are. We're gonna want to take care of him. I don't give a fuck. My dad tell me, or my mom, or anybody tell me, I don't want this. I don't want this. Shit, you gonna take it? You feel me? Or you just gonna look at it forever? I don't care. Right. Like, I like, sat. You, I sat since I was a fucking child thinking about doing this type of shit. Yeah. You know, not, take, yeah, yeah. Nah, take this shit, bro. We we come on, bro. Like this shit that we've been dreaming about forever is taking care of our people. So yeah. it's like. The mindset that you thinking now, but that shit is never going to go away unless you just start looking at the bright side of things. Even when I'm just in like a, a stable mindset to it, I'm just at work, just flowing. 
I just be thinking 24-7. Like, just thinking. Mind this, mind that. Or I just think, like, highly of myself 24-7. Like, yo, you doing this, yo, you doing that. Or just plan shit in my head. Yo, let me go fucking smoothie king and get something instead of going to fucking McDonald's and getting a burger. Mm -hmm. Let me do this, let me do that. Like, let me, let me eat good a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like, just always have something to look forward to, I feel like. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah, but... That's, like, when I had, um... I felt like I had, like, everything. Like, I had everything I, I could need. And it wasn't a lot. Like, waking up in the morning was so much easier when I could wake up, like, damn, I'm riding my bike into work. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or I'm waking up and, right, make breakfast with my lady and then go to work. Yeah. And then you lose those things. You wake up, and it's like, okay, damn. now I'm just go to work. Yeah. And what... So but it's always that? gonna come though, cause it's like you think about it. You're twenty. No, yeah, I'm yeah. twenty. You're nineteen, so it's 20. like. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Damn. I forgot. <laughs> Damn, we all twenty, nigga. <laughs> but it's like, bro, we're all twenty, so it's like, bro, that. I just be thinking like, yo, whatever I don't have right now is just gonna come. It's going to even fucking the relationship that I want. No, yeah, definitely. You feel me? Like, back. but my biggest thing, my biggest thing that I think that I think that just gets me through the days is just thinking about like. Loving someone. That's what, like, my biggest thing is. It's like, even if I just get to the point to where it's like, you just think, like, oh, yeah, I want to have my house like this. That's that, That'd be on my main, my main everything. I want to have my house like this. I want to have a dog. I want to have a car. I want to have a family. That I just be picturing that 24-7. So it's like, that's what gets me through a lot of my days, too, and just thinking, like, how I want my body, like, physically, physically fit and mentally. So I just think about self development twenty four seven. Even if I don't do it that day, even if I be like, oh I yeah, I want to jog, or I want to do push ups. Might do my push ups, but not jog. But I'd be like, damn, at least I got my push ups. So I went to the gym with Jason. You feel me? So it's it's just that like that's that's what gets me through my days. So if if I out there, if it's people that's going through rough days and rough patches in your life, just know at the end of the day, you gotta sit and think about self development. Think about how you want yourself to be physically and mentally. You feel me? Like. You you want you want to be up high like you don't you're not in competition with nobody you don't want to be the best person I'm pretty sure you don't want to be the best person in the world because really it don't get you nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, what the heck? That's good. <laughs> that almost died. Like, like, yeah, but like but really that don't get you nowhere. So it's like you just want to be happy around the people that love you and the people that you love. So. For everybody out there, just listen to them words. And next, I'll say next topic that we can say is, um, shit, how do you feel? How do y'all feel about, how do y'all feel y'all year went? Fuck 2024? Yes. How do you feel y'all year went? This year taught me, it taught me a lot. Mm -hmm. Like, but not like, I feel like this year, I didn't, I feel like this was like my tutorial year. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, you, we gonna give you this year so you get to understand and, and plot your next, your next, your, the big shit. Mm -hmm. This was the year that I got to sit and like plot everything I wanted to do. Yeah. And so like, I, I have like a mental blueprint. That I'm gonna, I'm gonna break that shit down soon. Yeah. But, like all this shit that I'm, that I really truly want to do, like I, I'll, Established it in my brain this year, mm -hmm. especially towards the end of this year. Yeah. Like I'm talking about crazy stuff, a lot of big stuff that. Hey, ready for it? I'm ready for it. I really am. So I feel like this year, it wasn't the best year. I went through a couple of things with like fucking like emails, family, financial shit. Yeah. But like, I feel like it was. It was needed because it showed me how strong I am. Cause I, I really could have just gave up on a lot of shit, and got like in my feelings about a lot of certain things, or fucking let uh, my emotions get the best of me this year. Cause I feel like I went through a lot of emotional stuff mm -hmm. this year, especially around like the, the beginning. And it is, I can't believe this year is at the end. And now I'm thinking yeah, about this it. Shit's crazy. This one shit more, went by so one quick. More, one more. So quick, bro. 2024 did not feel real. Like it don't. Yeah. I swear it don't. It's just crazy. But I got some good memories from this year though. Yeah. Like that's good. I do. I got some I got some good I got some good memories. A lot of them consist of y'all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, 
I'm just looking forward to new people, new money, new, new everything, new clothes, new, just, yeah, new opportunities. Like, I don't know. I just look, I try to, when, when, I, when I'm going through like a bunch of bad shit, I can't do nothing but just look forward. And I'm, I, I just, I like the fact that I'm young too. Like I'm, I just turned 20, not too long ago. Like, yeah. Just everything feels fresh. Like, I can actually life, become you know. that person that I want to become. I mean, That's tough. This year, this year was decent. It was decent. Not you? Mm. If you got a lot to say, I, I'll go first. You want me to go first? Yeah, I mean, go, you want me to go, go ahead. All right. This year was like my this year was like my welcome to life year. I feel like like years past, like I really ain't had no responsibilities. Like I really ain't I, I I wouldn't say responsibility. I really ain't had nothing big in my life to like really look forward to but college and stuff like that. But like now that I'm just molding myself and I see people going this way, people going that way, it's like I'm I'm just maneuvering through everything and just like shaping myself. You feel me? And like how Jesse said, just going through emotional losses and, and like relationships and stuff like that. Like, it's just after a while, like you just, I just learned like this whole year, I just learned that you got to make your own moves. Like you just can't sit there and, and just not do nothing. You feel me? So you got to make your own moves. And it wasn't a really bad year. I don't feel like it really wasn't that bad just because it ain't really nothing that happened I couldn't get over. I don't think it's nothing in life that I wouldn't be re- like able to get over. So like, I'm here. <laughs> I'm still living. You're just still alive. Like, I, I'm shit. still alive. Like a lot of people didn't make it. You know, like RIP my sister. I lost my sister this year, but like a lot of people didn't make it, and a lot of people was born this year. You feel me? I just had a I just had a new little cousin. You feel me? So just I had going a new through, baby sister born this yeah, year. Bro. Like that, that's a like, this year. is a good year. Like my. I love my little sister too. Yeah. The bad come the bad the bad is good just because without the bad you wouldn't have learned. Mm-hmm. So it's like you had to go through the bad. And it's like <coughs> just knowing that like I had to let some people go this year. Like they, they might be better they might be better with other people and you gotta respect that, you know? So it's like I just maneuver it through it like that with friends and, and like, you know, just females and stuff like that. So just take your time and prepare for next year and you know just keep the same thing don't reset your mind like as the year go on don't reset your mind and just try to like oh yeah i want to do this i want to do that or no work on the same thing that you was working on this year like you feel me just days goes on it's the same day you feel me like all days look the same all years look the same fuck it's just a fucking number on the calendar so it's like just go about life just shit don't stop grind don't stop but this year for me it's been a good year. I learned a lot, you know. So that's all it is. It's just learning. Yeah. Don't you? I don't even really want to say too much because I'm not trying to kill the mood. But it's been the damn near the worst year of my life. So where you go, bro? Let that shit. It's out, like bro. this is no, a safe like, space. It's, it's different like, for everyone, so we know yeah, what we mean. Right. It, it's been a bad. It's been a semi. It, it was bad for me a little bit, but you know, you just came back from it's it. Like even yeah. like looking back, like and like it's like how we talked about earlier, how like when you actually sit and think and develop on the things you said or was gonna say, uh-huh. like you actually can see both sides. Yeah. It's like now, this late in the year, I can see like every side of the story. Yeah. And it's like as far back as I can think this year, like on everything, any good memory I did have, like was just found out it was just fate. So like, I, even if I thought in the moment I was having a good time, a good memory, one of the best parts of my life, but it just, it was fate. And then, um, Going to court, losing jobs, losing money, losing hobbies, losing relationships, and then still getting new things too, getting new jobs, getting new money. Um, but it's like every time you take a step up, it's like I take 10 steps back. Mm-hmm. Like for the last four years of my life, I've been working like hard, like like insanely hard, like crazy jobs, doing shit I never thought I would be doing, fucking working my ass off trying to improve, and then not even just, just physically, but like mentally too, like as a person, I've just been doing so much better. But life has just been so much worse. Like, it don't even make no sense. Yeah. Like, I could be doing anything that I could possibly physically or mentally do for myself. Mm-hmm. And I've been doing it. But then, it, like, what it difference does it make to up, me yeah. in the world? Like, it doesn't change nothing around me. It doesn't change anything I do or who I am. So, it's like, 
-hmm. Just starting to see shit. It's like I, I've been doing this for four years hard as hell and I got another fucking 50 years to do it and it hasn't got me nowhere, so it's just hard. Yeah, we good, bro. I understand that. And, and this is, I don't know if you want to take this step, but I take a vulnerable step just off of saying a little bit, but we all know how it feels to take that step. I think the biggest loss that I probably, well, the biggest, biggest two losses that I probably took this year was I don't really see my niece like that no more. So it's like that weighs on me a little bit and that weighs on my mind every day. And like losing like family and stuff like that, like losing, like not really seeing family and like seeing family grow and like we're sprouting out. And then sometimes like you just see a family tree dying a little, not dying, but it's like, it's going separate ways. Like even with family and stuff like that. Like like when you, when you see them things, those like, you like, damn, like this, this person that you used to deal with every day, like this, like far as like a cousin or something like that, or like uh, just whatever, this person that you deal with every day, you don't see him no more. You feel me? Just shit like that, and probably just going through a breakup this year. Like that was that was tough because it's like you just try to put your you try to put your all into a person, and it just doesn't work out. Like I couldn't say that she was wrong. I couldn't say that I was wrong, but it just didn't work out, and I feel like. I had to push, I had to just like go through my brain and just say, okay, things wasn't working out. She might've wanted something. I might've wanted something, but I feel like it could be better if we dealt with different people. Like she might just want that person. I don't know how y'all feel about y'all situations, but with my situation, I just feel like if you wanted something that I wasn't giving you, I'm cool with you finding another person. You feel me? Like that's... I, I might not be that person for you. I mean, later in life, we might come back around, but, you know, it is what it is. So we all go through losses and stuff like that and with family and stuff like that. So, yeah, those are the big three losses. But, you know, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm recuperate from it. Like, you know, as life goes on, you know, you'll gain new people in life. Your family going to get closer. You know, we got a lot of time on this life. So, yeah. That was just my moment, you know, and the losses that I took, if I could speak about the bad things. Yeah, I wasted a, a lot of time. Like, I, I gave so much time and so much money, like, when I shouldn't have. Like, I missed a lot of things. Like, my dog died, um, sports with my siblings, uh, a lot of missed opportunity with my dad. He's always asking me to hang out and do things. I just feel like I wasted so much time and tens of thousands of dollars on something that just... Went to waste. Wasn't even real. It was like I could have been developing with my family. Like my dad's inviting me out every weekend to do things with him. I just can't. Mm -hmm. Or my dog got sick and for me I just wasn't there at all. And fucking work and school and my siblings have sports. I just missed all their stuff. It's just all my time and money got devoted to something I thought was beneficial to me and everything around me to that person. But it just, it was just a waste of a year and I lost so much for my time and money. And it's like, it just hurt me. It's like, I gave somebody so much. And it's like, I never done that for nobody. It makes you realize, like, look back, like, holy fuck, what did I just do? Mm -hmm. God damn. Sure. Like, God forbid something happened to somebody in my family, and, like, I missed it. Yeah. Or, like, I wasn't there for somebody. And, I, and I, there was instances where I wasn't there for, like, close friends, like, my boy went through a breakup and begged me to stay, and I just like I was busy. I was out. I was tending to my relationship. I couldn't. Mm -hmm. And then when I needed him, he was there like in two seconds. Yeah, it's like crazy. It's like holy shit. Like what have I been doing? I've been so like warped. What do you? All right. So, homie, huh, did you want to talk about that or about what? Like a relationship loss or something like that? Did you want to? Or oh. not really. Oh, shit. Hey, this is just that that vulnerable topic. You feel me? Because you got we gotta let it off. I know me and him has been thinking about this all fucking day. I mean, not all day, but like all a long, fucking a long, year, all yeah, fucking every been, day, every minute. Been every thinking hour. about that like that relationship, and we've been talking about it. So it's like I don't my, know about you. My brain, the way it works with females in love, it's it gets. I swear, every month it gets more and more complicated. Like, yeah. I like. I'll put it. I like to think of like everything that I go through with females 
it just don't mess with me. Like I don't, I don't let my brain sit there and tell me that what I did was wrong or what I went through, like I shouldn't have went through. Like it's just a lesson. It's just like this is life, bro. Everything you're gonna go through is gonna show you how to prepare for like the real thing. At, at, the, at this stage that we're in right now, like we're only twenty years old, bro. Like. That shit is hard. And I'm not even going to lie to you. This might sound sad to say, but like any relationship that I've been through, like like currently yeah. or like previously. Wasn't really real. I never even, I never expected it or wanted it to. Like, I just feel like a lot of the people that I talk to, like I, I already, but in the back of my head, I already knew like they weren't the one for me, but I'm just with them. To, to just like experience certain things learn to learn yeah to learn so yeah i was the opposite because like, they'll have certain things that i really like like they might be like really kind or they might be like like very attentive yeah or you know they got they may match my energy or however it may be and it'll be it, there will be those certain qualities but like in different females mm-hmm. and i just i'm just trying to figure out like what i like because i I don't have a type, bro. Like, I really don't. So I'm still just bro. trying to figure out, like, what what do I want out of a female in general? Like, I can't sit there and... I couldn't sit here and tell you, like, a perfect female for me. Like, so, like, I don't know. I can't say I did go through some shit, like, earlier this year that it fucked me up. It did. But I got over it just because, like, like, what the fuck did I expect? Like... I, okay, uh, another thing I'll say, I will never, ever, ever, and I mean ever, go into any relationship or deal with any other female again, like, seriously or even semi-seriously, <coughs> knowing that I don't got my shit together. Never again. Never. Like, and by shit together, I mean like... That's the worst, though. I know what you're not, saying. It's not... That, that, I feel like, if I could go back... I feel like that's what put like a semi dagger into my relationship, just because at the time, I was going through so much. Like I'm it, not it was, doing bro, that you, shit, bro. You've had so much on your plate, and then like you, 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 you dealing with a female on top of it, knowing that they have specific needs, knowing that they got this, and you trying to make everything happy. You feel me? You're trying to make everything like you're trying, like you, uh, at least. You would just want you. I feel like you just probably wanted her to see that you was trying. Like even if you ain't had the money to financially or the car or anything, like you was trying at the time, and that's what I feel like at the time. I was trying, but I wasn't trying hard enough because I was content with myself. But then when you get into a new, I've never been in a relationship day in my life except for her. So it was like once you once you dealing with a new relationship, new things. Now you got another person that you got to cater to. It's just not, it's different. I'm not and then after anything. a while, like you just gotta learn. And when you're the only Don't. person that's like, really learning and like trying to learn with opinion. this person, it is it's hard, bro. It is hard and that, that shit, that's fucked up, bro. In, it is in up. some instances, that may work for people. It may help them like get on their shit. Mm-hmm. In my instance, I feel like for me, it made shit like low key worse because I I had like my own bread. Like I have like I had like a good like shit to myself, but the mm-hmm. more time that I was trying to spend with this person, and I was trying to get myself together, yeah. I realized like, bro, my fucking like, you missing out on something. I'm missing out on something, and my bread is is not going up. It's just yeah. staying stagnant. Like, like I can't, I can't do that shit no more, bro. I gotta really, I gotta be that. Like, that person that I see in my head, I'm gonna be that first before I start taking anyone seriously. That shit is you always gonna have your little side joints or whatever. But once like, I get that, I'm not gonna be wanting to like. I want to build something with somebody just because I. That's I all I be know. talking about when I'm in a relationship, bro. It's like shit that I could just build. We should do this. We should do this. We should do that. That's that's what be my thing. Like it, it's like now I can't see myself just fucking around because it's like I want to be in that. We should do this. We should do that because it's nothing like when I be hearing people dealing with each other for like 60, 50 years and shit like that, bro. You went through your whole life with this person, bro. Like, you feel me? And, and this person wants to go through it with you. So when the fucked up shit happens, it just be like, bro, like, why, bro? Like, why Why couldn't everything just go this way? Or, like, I don't feel like I wasted time because we did have good moments and we had bad moments. 
But I just feel like if we're going to prosper as individuals, it's better separate just because we got two different, we got two different mindsets. Like my mindset is very calm and I be wanting like not shit to be perfect, but shit to be good. Even when it's like, we're not doing nothing. Even if we just chilling, you feel me? I be wanting shit to be good because I don't really do shit in those day to day life. But it's like when you, when you, when you, like how you said, bro, your shit, when you, when you deal with female, bro, at every day something has to happen. You yeah, feel me? Everything shit can't. Every day shit can't. It happen. can't. So I mean, like, shit happen to, every fucking it, day. It comes to, to a point where like it's man time. Is the type of person I am. Sometimes I like to just be alone, just so I can. Like, bro, I really just heard about anything every bro, single fucking Sometimes day. I just like to be alone, bro. Like that's I, how it be, bro. It was. I, I was literally that, like coming home from school it. just for my just for my girl. Bro. But I loved it. Yeah, that's that's that's. And my school is three hours away. I like. Told my peoples, can I come home? And like made up certain reasons. But I was just trying to see her. Just to save what the fuck was going on. But it was like, yo, when you had, bro, the worst thing is going to going to like certain places and you hearing from other people their situations. Like say if I tell you, oh, when the last time your girl called you or some shit like that? And you be like, oh, like two hours ago. And I'm like, but she probably fucking another nigga. Why, like, why would I want to hear that? And then you be hearing that from you be hearing that from certain people. I swear to God, bro, people, certain people insecurities, they would try to put that on you. They be like, oh yeah, girls ain't shit, girls ain't that. I be like, bro, I know my girl, bro. It's certain things I know that she's just not going for. <laughs> that was wild. It's like, yeah, but you will hear that, bro. I'm telling you, when I went to college, that's all they heard. When like yeah. around the time, like when you signing up for college, they be like, oh yeah, break up with your relationship. That should be all over social media. They be like, yo, break up with your break up with your girl. She's probably in another guy's room, some shit like that, or talking to another guy. And I'd be like, I mean, if she is, cool, you didn't hurt me. I mean, you hurt you hurt me a little bit, but it was like, damn, like, you didn't, you didn't, that wasn't me doing it. You feel me? Like, I didn't cheat. So I just know you probably feel sick with yourself, or I didn't do anything, or like, say if you was treating me wrong. I didn't do that. I was treating you good. So it's like, well, I feel like I did what I had to do with my relationship, bro. I did what I had to do and more, like yes, bro. That's the I feel like I played. I feel like I played my part, low key. bro. I played my part and I did what I had to do, but it was just like sometimes shit didn't mix, and it's cool. That's fine, but I hope you happy with that person that you was dreaming about wanting. You feel me? Like I, I just hope. I hope that next person that you deal with, I hope he's everything in a bag of chips. I just know what me. I'll pop that bag of chips. Anybody, yeah. I'll, I'll yeah. anybody that, that I talk to, mm -hmm. I always make sure I upgrade each one. Yeah, like, I, I, I up, upgrade. Like, I up. I don't give a fuck, fuck about that. Fucking those, steak, bro. and that's what everything. <laughs> like, that's what everything in life for me like. Well, I'm, and if I'm I have something, right now. I'm gonna make sure I had crash out, bro. Sure, the sure. better version of that. I should. That's why we're talking right now. I should crash out. You gotta be vulnerable. You wanna crash out? I can't. You don't got time. I crash out. Yeah, the only thing yeah. I have time for right now is I crash out. Yeah. Okay. It comes with due time, though. I heard that in due time, if you just delete the pictures, delete the memories, and if I'm telling you, bro, I tried. Well, I'm doing it. Me and my me and my getting like better situation. It's just like just knowing that all you have to like you and your situation, bro. You did everything that you had to do. You feel me? And you just knowing that, like, with me, I say, I did everything mentally and was there for that person, like, physically and mentally. They're like, what else can I do? It's like, when you when you know somebody's, like, when you, like, but like I knew her background, like, I knew what she had been through. Like, yes. I knew who she was, the type of person she was. Even mm -hmm. if she didn't know I knew, like, bro, the thing, like, when you when you stay with somebody, like, every every day, wake up mm -hmm. to her every morning, like, yeah. bro, there's things I, like, there's things I did she didn't even know. Like, bro, like, I would wake up in the morning, and like, just I'll like promise her shit. Like without, like while she's asleep, I would just look at her face and just promise her shit. I would promise her a house, promise her cars, a family, kids, things she never had, all these other yes. different things. And I would promise it to her, and she wouldn't even know. And I would just go to work, and the whole reason for going to work was to fulfill all those promises I did. And then when it ends, it's like, damn, like not only do I feel let down by her, but I let down myself so so bad. Yeah, it's like from the very start, I promised so many things. But it's people like, wouldn't. People would tell you don't do that. Like, 
don't devote all your time, but that's your relationship. That's what I want to have do. To. I want a family. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You have to. We have the same hobbies. Like, we have the same ideas, the same goals. Like, we're just it's just two different levels. It's like, yeah. I'm at, I was yeah. actually pushing for that shit. Promising all these different things. Like, from the start, from the day I met her, like, I'm, it's just, it's crazy, bro. Yeah. It, it, bro, it's, it's a hard thing, but for people out there that's going through, if you're going through hard times with a relationship, bro, just know that if you're a female male, just know that you gave it your, you gave it your all. Like, you, you try. Like, that's you all you can fucking, say to fucking things up and fuck them. <laughs> Unless you, like, when you, when you try, that's all you can say is, I try. When you see that person or when you think of that person, I try. Like, hey, you, you're going to have to let it go just because as you sit and just dwell on that, dwell on that person, like, they might be on the other side just chilling, laughing and shit like that. Or, or, or you know, no, I, I, bro, if a female thought that you was wrong in that situation, right? Like, a lot of females be thinking that we're wrong. We already know that person that she, that, that like, bro, once you... When she move on and stuff like that, I know how she is. You feel me? Like, I know. Like I know, I know what type of person she is. So I know what that nigga is gonna get. I wouldn't mm. care to know what type of person she is because she may be a completely different person with. Anybody. I know what type of person. I, don't I know like what type of person is around your to... family. Everybody. I know oh, what type of person you is. Fucking everything. <laughs> bro, that shit hurt, bro. That shit hurt. Yes. Oh devoted times, bro. You devoted time, and it's like. That's why this space right here is to just, it's just like, you, you, you just be vulnerable. You, you feel me? Like, this is a vulnerable topic. Like, we all, we all go through it, but moving forward, we just know you got to keep it real. I feel like once you keep it real in this situation, that might make the, that's going to make the situation even better. For if you're starting to lose feelings for me, please let me know. Her future man is watching this. I want you to know I'm going to kill you. Just, you can't, uh, well, I can't say that. No, 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 you can say it, but like, I don't know. Kill that motherfucker. Nah, bro, leave that shit alone, bro. Hell no. Bro. Oh, no, bro. Ah, bro, me. I, bro, I, you just gotta wish the best for people. Hell no. I wish the best for people. I do that every time. I wish I the best for people. Fuck you that. made that decision. She made that decision. Hell no, I ain't bro, the best. Bro, they made the decision, bro. They, I say, they made that decision. If you, if they make the decision to leave us, it is what it is. It's like, I'm what trolling. can I do? It doesn't matter, bro. But it's like, another no, no, no. Thing, what can we do? Another right. thing. Yeah. Another thing. Here's another reason why. Me personally, why I don't get upset. Because you just got so many bitches, huh? No. That's the thing about you. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, man. Yeah, you just got too many. You know what I mean? It'd be like, if a person like knows what they did to you was wrong, mm -hmm. and they let that shit sit down in their soul, yeah. I lose. More than nine times out of ten, well, for me at least, they're gonna want you back. I, I promise you, every time. Mm -mm. Now, well, not every time. Some of them. Once you know you did wrong, them, yeah, you're gonna want somebody back. I'm telling you. They, and it, even if they don't want you back, they, they maybe they try to reach out or something. Yeah. Just like, cause they know that they did wrong. Reach out to these nuts. Yeah. Fuck that. Like. Damn, she bad. Cause you know that, cause, cause you know that you did wrong. When you know that you did wrong. Like, I didn't get wrong in multiple situations with females, and I wanted to reach back out. Because I didn't know I did wrong. So just imagine. Because you were. Yeah, but not but at the time. But, now, but me now. No, no, no. Shit. Me now. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not reaching out. I'd rather leave. I'd rather leave it at what it is. Leave it at what it is. Like, we move on. Like, I don't have a choice but to leave it at what it yeah, is. Like, it, it, it's, it, that's what I'm saying. With our choices, we look soft when we go back to a situation. Yeah, I look soft. I, I look soft. I let a lot of shit happen. And I let a lot of shit slide that just wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah, so not, now that I'm reflecting on it, I'd rather leave it as what it is. That's the thing. Later on in life, if it happens, it happens. I might be able to let some shit go. But as of right now, I'll leave it as what it is. You can go by yourself and do what you got to do. I also think about it like this, bro. Seven billion humans on this fucking earth. No, I don't even care about it, bro. Uh, I care about think like about four. just think about it, bro. There are Damn. seven billion different humans on this planet, bro. I got you, seven there's, billion different there's, you have endless opportunities to really find like that. You feel me? Like you really do. 
No. But think females about it. nowadays, you know how they are, bro. I know, it's but like even approaching seven... the good ones, they have right. a, they already have a mindset about guys. Period. That they even they're gonna put it on you before that you even open up your mouth. Oh, oh yeah, guys like this, guys like that. Like they're not gonna give you a chance. I'm about to marry a Tesla. Why robot. are you talking like? I understand bro, everybody gets hurt, but like, nigga, like, it's so many people on this earth, it's good females out here. No, like, it's oh, not. Fuck. Not many girls. There was only with. one. Okay. I thought so. So it's like, if we talking about like, bro, I, bro, we know, like, they are like this. We're going to find it. It's going to happen. I'm but gonna tell you, I don't think it's anytime soon. It's going to happen. And I'm it may not be like, time soon, but it's going to happen one day. It might be soon. But you got to really want it, just, bro. You got Once to you're happy with your heart and your brain, like, Petty shit don't even bother me. Like, if somebody did some fuck, all right, man, fuck you. I'm going to go up regardless, nigga. My life. Huh. I'm going to go my up life. regardless. Hey. <laughs> my life. You feel me? Hey, fuck it. That's Girl. what I'm saying, bro. If shit happens, what what can I do? That's the thing. I don't want to go you up by matter. myself. But, like, I went through a certain... We, bro, let, just, listen, bro. We this are so young cool. people right now, bro. Like... I don't really feel young. My fucking back you're, hurts. You're, listen, you don't feel hurts. young because you're doing you're doing a bunch of like you're doing a bunch of shit for you. We're not that young, but doing that, right now I want to I, I do want to like build that forty year marriage though. Mm -hmm. When I can say like right now because I don't want to right wanna now. Be, yeah, I don't want to be I don't want to be trying to find love when I'm thirty. I'm old as fuck. I don't want to be trying to play sports with my kids. If that like, fifty five, if it, if it gotta true. be like that, fuck it. Love is love, bro. Like. You can't you can't sit there and tell yourself when it's gonna happen, when it's not gonna happen, bro. You even don't know what make that shit happen. Or you could do that too. You feel me, yo? You don't force nothing though. How? No. How how are you gonna make bro, this shit happen? You don't you don't be force everything. Make this shit happen <laughs> is don't miss an opportunity. Yeah, if but you if see you go, if you see a nice go, little joint, speak to her. No. <laughs> you you so. feel me? You got it. She might be the one speak. you I can go with love. Speak. You never gonna find it. True. Come on now. Preach. You get an amen. Preach. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on. But if you do look for it, the shit will come for you. Yeah, the the shit will come shit. to you. But it depends on what you're looking for it at. If you're looking for it in a motherfucking a club Kitty or a club. fucking desert. <laughs> if you're looking for it in like a kickback or some shit, no. But we <laughs> mutually <laughs> like, you ever had a, like a work bay? Hmm? Fuck. <laughs> yeah, look at no, like, but too. are you like in situations to where it's like in the past I've had a work made and then like, damn, oh, hell nice, man. nice, what you mean? But we just went different ways. But it's like, I can't, I can't, I do, that. I can't do that. You can't. But can't. now I, I feel like you just gotta grow. We're gonna grow. Everything's gonna, everything's gonna. You feel me? Everything around us is gonna fucking grow, so just keep smiling. We're gonna get better. Bro. Keep smiling. Keep smiling. That bro. just goes in a that just goes into the level. Hey, you you sad, keep smiling. You know, when you angry, keep smiling. With dubs come put, losses. But y'all need people need to learn how to put they certain type of emotions into the right thing. I'm gonna put my emotions like, into Put your Gen anger 5. into something that you know anger can be put into without yeah. hurting other people. Put your happiness into like you know you feel me just Find certain shit to put your emotions yeah, yeah, yeah. in. I've already figured out what I want to put my, my emotions in. Put all my emotions in my Gen 5. <laughs> yes, we're back. Mm -hmm. We got two special guesses. The, 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 the guy. Yeah. 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 Alright, so look. The question that we already answered was, how did y'all year go so far? How do y'all feel like y'all year went? Ghetto, but it ended good. It ended good. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Yeah, it went good. I met you. So it's Ooh. Good Before I met my man, hey, it was I met the love of my life. Oh, oh my God. Shit. <laughs> 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 shit. Hey. Niggas drift up this day. The truth. Hey, shit. So, how was your year? Mm. 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 Honestly. It was a, it was a, it's been a year. No, let me not get that. I ain't gonna lie, this year has been a bumpy road, but, you know, I've been, I've been, I've been prayed up, man. That's all I'm saying. You with God, you know, he, you know, hey, he makes things happen. And things are definitely happening that I can't say on camera. But Jeremiah 29, 11. Mm -hmm. What's that one? Hey, 
Yeah. For the uh, for I have a plan for you, a plan to prosper you and not harm you. Ooh. That's God for you. We were just talking about that. We were just talking about planning. So like, with day to day life, how do you see? That's crazy. We were just talking about like day to day life. How do you go about like life as far as like planning? Things? Well, no, I said like the way I think about things. I just plan things before, like it happens. Like even when I wake up, how my day gonna go? Or what I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do? Or like, fucking if I'm at work and they tell me to do something, how I'm gonna do it? You feel me? I just think about something before I do everything. So it's like. I just think like that. But how do y'all go about y'all day to day life and like deal with things? Mm. Like do y'all think that y'all deal with things well? <laughs> I feel like well when we first met, we always kept God in the middle because nothing works without God. Mm -hmm. So we kept God in the middle. And the number one thing <laughs> <laughs> The number one thing is that is yes. prayer. So we pray every morning when we wake up. We pray together on the phone together. We play. We pray individually. We pray throughout the day. Yeah. Um. That 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 really keeps us going. Constant prayer. We doing this way? Oh, he said okay. Uh, I ask the question one time. It was how do you get through your plan of your day to day? Like, what plan do you do? How do you go about it every day? I mean, she said it, you know, we, we pray. These niggas not, you know what I mean? We, we pray every day, every night on the CFO tip. We keep God inclusive in, you know, our day to day. Mm -hmm. Before it not the relationship, that's what God is together. But as people, I would advise everyone that's the, I don't want to put the Bible, but pray though. Yeah. You know, God is like the helper of all. Mm -hmm. Is they oh the I, didn't ask, I, didn't, I didn't even ask this question. What do we plan on doing next year? I answer mm -hmm. my question is being as though the year's ready, like, and I plan on, like, just, I wouldn't say bossing up crazy just because, like, bro, we got a lot of life. You can't boss up in one fucking year. And plus, if you get, I mean, yeah, you can, but, like, I'm not going to make a billion next year. I don't even want a billion dollars. You don't got like, a couple years. boss, but, like, if you going from, like, Say you making Nigga we bust up tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Five thousand dollars. What you fuck? You boost it like you get fucking what? Like, but money, money, bro, money. bro, the achievements and shit it. like that, that shit is cool. But a lot of that shit is materialistic, bro. Like money, you a stand up nigga without money. You a stand up nigga without money. I'm a stand up nigga without money. Y'all two stand up couples without money. You mm. feel me? Y'all would never let money come in between y'all. Mm. So like at the end of the day, we could say, Oh yeah, I wanna make a lot of fucking money, but I'm gonna just keep on getting right up top. You feel me? Like, cause I gotta plan this shit out. Like, I'm gonna, it's a marathon. Like, I, I keep on saying this. I know y'all be hearing me a lot of times. It's a marathon, not a hundred meter race. You feel me? Like that hundred meter race, that that motherfucker end quick. Like, you feel me? Like, if you just, if you doing something and shit like that, if you grinding for that one thing and you get it, what the fuck else did you plan for? <laughs> Type shit. Like, you gotta keep on going. You <laughs> talking about some? Uh, like, like. <laughs> <laughs> now you gotta keep going. So once you get it, you gotta plan it. <laughs> nah, yeah, we good. Yeah. But yeah, just always had that plan for that next step. But next year, I just feel like my life is gonna continue, and you know, probably have a car, better car, and an apartment, this and that. But you know, if it doesn't come, and shit, we gonna get it next year. Next year, next year, I'm gonna be twenty. Shit's going to come. It's going to because I'm worried for it. But I'm not going to set myself all the way to fuck up here. And then if I don't achieve it, I'm mad at myself. Mm -hmm. Cool. I'm going to take it day by day. 25 minutes a day. Realistic goal. It ain't no yeah. fucking fuck. It was just a fly. Everything Who's next? Oh, what's next year? For me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's your plan for next year? Okay. Yeah. Damn. I got, yeah. I got a lot of stuff that I got planned for 2025. Like, Damn. I already had it planned. Like, I had a two, like a little two year plan, like in 2023, but <laughs> it's really a one year plan at this point because everything's about to just change at once. But 2025, mm -hmm. shit. What, what, what do I really got going on? Okay, so, so I already got a crib. Um, I'm about to get a car. I'm about to start traveling like a whole fucking bunch, mm. like a whole lot. Like not even for just like, um, 
just like vacations type shit, but like I'm gonna be like traveling a lot because I'm about to start boxing. Like, mm-hmm. Seriously, boxing. You box? Yeah, my oh. coach live literally right, like literally right. Do you there. just do boxing? Like well, just strictly boxing, no MMA, no nothing, just boxing. I can do MMA shit. Like I know mm-hmm. how to, I know how to kick and shit. Like I know how to wrestle. <sighs> so I can't get hit um, on shit like that. How long you been you doing it for? Like, I've been boxing. <laughs> um, so no thanks. I've been teaching. My, I've been. I'm self-taught, so I've been teaching myself how to box for I think it's going on five. I want to say six years. But I'm gonna just say five years now. Cause when I started, like in my head, like I knew, like I want to like. You gotta ask him. I really do. I really do this shit. Okay, okay. Like, so yeah, that um. A lot other side shit. Well, I'm about to start this new job, an IT job. Mm-hmm. I'm about to be working at IT. Dang. Like um, that shit. That's what's the really really be the kicker. That's really changed like everything, because that's changing like my revenue. Mm-hmm. And so that's allowing me to do more things. So mm-hmm. that and um, I'm trying to uh take like like music as serious as my boxing too but that's that that i'm gonna do that at a steady pace i'm not gonna like oaks try to overly indulge myself like taking that serious while i'm taking boxing serious like that shit i'm gonna just let it come and go like i'm gonna dip in dip in music and dip out okay. and then once i get to a point where i feel comfortable enough to like i can i can take a break from certain shit then i start taking music way more serious like music videos or like mm-hmm. Right. That's right. Love that for you, just. Nah, for real, bro. We're really showing that shit, man. I tell you, you shooting that shit. Me? <clears throat> I get um, done. Shit, next year, um, mm, I'm gonna just get back into some some shit I used to do, some hobbies. My, uh, yeah, I'm gonna um, crash out a little bit. Yo, <laughs> you gotta <laughs> stop, bro. <laughs> I'm trolling, I'm trolling. Bro, you I'm gotta trolling. stop. I'm trolling. I'm trolling. I be really thinking this ass rate crash, bro. Please don't bro. crash. Bro, please don't crash out behind this. You know we almost we lost our friend last year. Who's last year's been? Something like that. I'm ready to crash out so hard. Uh, really crash out. When I say crash out, I mean I'm going to crash out in that bag. Um, yes, sir. Yeah, I'll be that. Thank you. <laughs> and then, but I, but uh, I'm a, um, yeah, I'm going to just do the things I, I like, the things I enjoy doing. I'm going to hang out with the guys some more and um, catch up with all the, all the uh, missed times. Missed opportunities for a lot of people. Yeah. I feel like this is year where we all need to like get closer, like really mm-hmm. start like forming bonds and stuff. Look at this. Yeah, it is. This is a this shit, bro. This, bro, they be fucking with us, bro. I swear to God, bro. People really be fucking with this because they be like, bro, when niggas lay down and shit, they be neat or something to watch. And it's like, yo, when you listening to like real shit, like they might fuck with this just because of the start. Yeah. When we were just talking like real shit, bro. Like that's what niggas be wanting to hear. I can so sit there like, and say that like any real video, anytime. Like any real, like real, like influencer or art person I watch, mm-hmm. I only watch them because like they said some real shit or yeah. like they was speaking some real shit that felt real to me at the time. Like we probably saying some stuff that people can relate to. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Most definitely, I think content is the best content. Tub of uh, ice cream and watch this. I relate to that. Cookies and cream though, I could relate to that. Big chocolate chip. Cookies and cream, I could relate to that. Or fast bowl of Captain Crunch. I can't fuck with so you. It's gonna break my teeth. What? Mm. Is it okay if I hit my vape during this podcast? Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Really but like y'all next. But okay. what do y'all want next year? Yeah, baby. All right, y'all can do all right. Two questions individually and relationship. Mm. Oh. Ooh. Individually. Okay. That was tough. Stop interviewing me, motherfuckers. Um, Maybe, next year, I plan to start my phlebotomy classes. I'm following in my mom's footsteps on being a phlebotomist where you draw blood and stuff like that. So I'm just trying to ask what is it? I, I, yeah. I think it's a phlebotomy. He told me about it. No, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, phlebotomy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hell no. And um, I've been dibbling dabbling into music like for two years now. So for we made a song last night. <laughs> we did. We made a song yeah. Yes, bro. <laughs> yes, bro. Can we get a sneak? Can we get a uh, snippet? Okay. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Can we give a little snippet? Cool. But yeah, bro, that's I mean, the best thing that you could ever do for like a music career. I feel. I don't know. Y'all cool. go interview. I feel like getting a female on your song. Yes, bro. That's probably the and best. They don't be doing it enough. Yes, that's the best thing you can do. Like, I've had 
you know, we that's in my message to you being right there. Go ahead, right, right, ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, matter of fact, we just gonna send him the song and he's just gonna play the snippet in the video. That's what oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, okay. that's tough, youngin. They ain't even gonna get the full access to that motherfucker. <laughs> Y'all gotta wait, <laughs> youngin. <laughs> but they know that, they know that. Hey, look, homie, let's make this clear. This is the youngin that be on all of my outros. So, if y'all really fucking Ooh, with the music, bro, you mean that's that's this this is the youngin. This is the youngin. So like, yeah, that's how that's how it is. Don't listen to my shit if you ain't subscribed though. You yeah. feel Ooh, me though, youngin? God. Like you can't get to him without getting to me, and without getting to me, you're not gonna get to him. So you feel me? Double whammy. This is this shit forever. Double whammy. Double whammy. This shit forever. <laughs> shit forever yeah. You gonna watch a good band, and you gonna watch you gonna listen to a good song. Oh, that's it. I was just going and just for bottoming, dibble dabbling in music, wherever my man go, I go, trap, mm. whatever. Mm. That's just what we do. Mm -hmm. That's great. We gotta make that a new thing. Um, yeah, yeah. So you said individual in the relationship, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna answer I'm gonna answer individual real quick. Mm -hmm. Uh let me see the other thing. Let's see if it's gonna last. Oh, okay. Um uh, <laughs> You put like this with uh, you have a baby or something? Uh, like that. Too tough. Let them, let them, let them cook. Oh hell! Oh, stop it! Let them cook. <laughs> let, them cook. <laughs> let them cook though. You gotta let them cook. Oh, Jason. <laughs> oh, Jason. Let them cook. Nah, yeah, you're gonna be unsung. Nah, nah, I'm just joking. Let them cook. That's a great surprise. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Next year. Uh. Glory to God first, all glory to God. You know, I'm gonna be rich as fuck next year. I'm not gonna say too much. We're gonna close out on this deal. Um, I'm gonna have a big ass crib I'm somewhere in California. Stay in the uh, Orange County with my community wife. Um, making all these niggas my, you know what I'm saying, the uncles of my kid, our kid. Yeah. You know, as far as relationships, though, y'all know I make music. So I mean, it's just. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get married next summer, so y'all gonna be at our wedding. Yeah, I'm told you next what? year. I'm gonna cry. Yeah, all right, all right. I ain't got shit. I'll be ready with the black suit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do we do gray? Suit. I look good in gray. Never matter. You know what? You know what? That's what We're going on the beach, so like, ooh, I mean, yeah, Hermosa Beach. I do got my motherfucking slacks and shit, though. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You look like a fly guy. You got my A, a fly guy. Yeah, I'm gonna do the big one. After I, uh, after I get this dumb big ass bag, you know, mm -hmm. spending on my guys and my lady, of course, my career, start my family, add my career, start, start, start more success, my glory to God. Yeah, that's what I see my social media. Relationship with niggas is very good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's tough. That was good one, I fuck with that. Thanks, man. Damn, I fuck with that. Um. Yeah. But I feel like with with all of us, like I just say that, like how we started that one video. When I say individually, I feel like as a group, I'm proud of all of us just because, bro. We don't like we're not in trouble. We're not like in we're not into the fucking. Mm -hmm. So as all of us going through this life, and it's a good thing that I got this friend group. Like you feel me? Like y'all, well these. A brother group like y'all looking at something that's special y'all looking at something that's gonna go up y'all gonna see us a lot so it's like i just be wanting to give time i know i might not text y'all this or like send y'all this but you already know i'm proud of you for the shit that you do we had many fucking conversa conversations and shit like that and i i've seen you every day yeah, for like man. fucking three weeks yeah, man, and then everything i'll be proud. talking to you all the time so it's like i'm proud of my guys and the shit that they doing you feel me so with. It's such a uh, it's such a diverse group of like talented people. Yeah, like it's, all, of all of us got some crazy so shit, shit going on. Know how to do some shit. Know how to get shit done. It's like everybody's on the same the same goals, the same path for like just getting rich and having fun and making. This claim is two brothers missing too. I shout out Isaiah and Cam. I just want to say yeah, that. we do got that. We do got the like guys missing camera, and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a bunch of people. Bunch That's people. young. Man. Oh, I gotta, I gotta. All right, so look. All of us, we're gonna answer this. 
what do we require from each other and what do y'all require from each other like mm -hmm. far as like you could say what do you require out of the friend group and what do you require out of your relationship and we'll say what do we require out of the friend group and what do we want to see in our relationship that works I'll start, first with, oh, no, 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 right. I'll start first with or you want to No, 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 no. I'm trying to think. I'll start first with what I really want to see out of the friend group. I don't want to see none of us go downhill. Like, I don't want to see none of us go downhill and, like, really, like, give up on this shit. Like, give up on, like, what we doing. So I feel like as long as we stay on the right path and love and loyalty, like, we always, like, the same way. Yes. The same way that you love yourself is... I got the same love for you, you feel me? I don't want to never see you in a fucked up situation. I don't never want to see you in a fucked up situation. I don't never want to see y'all in a fucked up situation. So it's like, out of the friend group, I just need all of us to keep going and love and loyalty with each other. First of all, loyalty is if I know, if you know I'm fucking up, let me know. If you know I'm not on my shit or I need to do better or, or I could just get somewhere mentally, you feel me? Let me know. But... That's all I was saying. Out of the relationship, I feel like loyalty. Loyalty is a big thing. And, and communication is a big thing because if you holding shit in, then how do you feel? Like, who who is that person that you can let stuff out to? You feel me? If I'm not that person. Yeah. So I feel like in in a future relationship, that and um, I want you to, like, live your own life. You feel me? Have your own mind. Like, don't, don't live... Don't live off of me like a vessel, but like live off of me like off if it's like I'm your happiness, you feel me? But don't make me like your need. You feel me? Just make it like that. Like I wanna be your happiness to where it's like when I see you or when you see me, we smile and shit like that. But not mm -hmm. like, oh yeah, I fucking need you, this and that, or I can't, you feel me? So just shit like that. So just loyalty and have your own life and be free. That's, That's cool. what I want. That's a great answer, Chris. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna go with uh, accountability. Mm -hmm. Holding each other accountable. Like, uh, it's so much easier to do life with somebody else, and it's even more easier to do life when you've got a group of people you can do it with. Mm -hmm. We're on the same path, the same mindset, the same goals. Who can hold each other accountable and keep each other motivated in any different way possible. Mm -hmm. Like, we can sit here and talk about money. We can talk about the gym. We can talk about relationships. Yeah. And that's what kind of makes it like not much of a friendship but more of like a, like brothers like yeah. we can literally talk about anything and just get so real so deep and hold each other just like accountable like I can tell Chris that his big dumb ass head looks <laughs> like, and he'll cut his hair or some yeah. shit yeah like, you can just talk about anything and, and just keep each other on the same path the same, the same goals same mindset so yeah. definitely that and for a relationship um I don't really know to be honest yeah I don't know no probably the same thing accountability yeah. You know, it's like uh, or integrity. Mm -hmm. You know, doing doing what you know is right, even if you know the other person not watching. Mm -hmm. And like, uh, it's just so many different positions you don't have to put yourself in. And but if you choose to do it, you know you gotta do it the right way. So that's really all I got. That's mm -hmm. a great answer, yeah, That's a really good answer. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate mm -hmm. you, man. Shoot. Um. Well, one thing that I hope. And I pray that stays going with my friends is I guess I can say loyalty because loyalty is like a big thing for me mm -hmm. in relationships and with my friends like loyalty is like really a big thing for me because I I would sit there and say that loyalty is damn near more important than love if I'm yeah. being real That's so okay. if I know that you can be loyal to me then you don't even gotta love me all the time bro just I just need to know that like when shit go down, I, I always know who I have to count on. Mm -hmm. And they'll never like, like when I'm at my lowest, they'll never like fucking like forget, forget me or maybe some shit happens like within like the friend group or some, some shit like that. Mm -hmm. Like I wanna know like if I'm able to put it past me and it's something that's not that deep, then you should be able to do it too. We can get back to it. Just like being this, mm -hmm. so like, I'm just saying like for the future, because I know humans like we don't always get along on everything on with everyone. Like if some shit ever happened, bro, just remember, bro. Like this, this shit is like, this is yeah. this is more love than anything. Like, mm -hmm. This is family. 
I don't even like calling y'all my friends if I'm being so serious. Yeah. There's nothing like, there's no like disagreement that we could have that would like, like make me change my mind about any of y'all. Like, no, that's we don't have to agree on every single thing. Yeah, we don't. We don't even just fucking agree. <laughs> that's just, that's even, the main thing. Yeah, <laughs> but if I had to add something, I would say like everlasting. Because yeah. if it's, like I couldn't switch, like even with my, like bro, like even with my blood brothers, I wouldn't switch nobody for the world. You feel me? Like it, it's nobody that I could say, like it's a lot of inf- like influencers and stuff like that, and a lot of rich people. I wouldn't say, oh yeah, I would rather have a relationship with him. I would have fucking guys. You feel me? Or like and that's even somebody that's like outside of the circle. And that's that's that's, that that's what I'm trying to get at. Cause I know all of us like, I can see it like literally with all of us. Like we all going to get like big in life. I don't yeah. know. I don't know why. I just got this like pre notion that we all just gonna be like at big yeah. stat, big big places in life. And I just wanted to like remember like who the real ones are. Yeah. When we get to that point where we're around like, like you said, people with money, people with status, people people with power. Like, remember who is who's here first? Yeah, and who's gonna be here? We started with this. Is, this is the support system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. This is where it starts. Yeah. I just like to push it out there before it even happens. Like, yeah. I, like I told y'all before, I even said I've been mentioned this to y'all before. Like, like. I mentioned like higher ups and people like that. Like there's people, it's, it's evil people out here who really try to do like weird shit to people. And I just want y'all to be aware of that before it even happens. Like you may not even believe me, but bro, I'm trying to tell you. I already seen some weird shit happen not too long ago. I don't want to speak on it now, but like it's people out here who really like. But inside of the group? No, not inside of the group. Uh-oh. Just dealing with, I, I seen some shit happen. Yeah. It was some it was some weird ass shit. Like, you scared me now. I, I should. You keep don't going. Say that. Like it's some weird weirdos out here. Shit, as long as it's not in the group, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, as long as it's, it's not, not in the group. group this is just cool. five and five or Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey y'all. Yeah, I'm sure. Good shit though. He's not lying. But what relationship? You got a relationship thing. Oh, yeah. But with relationships. Hey, that relationships are so complicated. Um, what's what's real is gonna last. That's all I can say. Like, mm-hmm. realness is gonna show in anybody and anything. Like, just make sure if you be gonna be with someone, that like it's it's real, bro. Don't go into it trying to talk to someone and you you know for a fact like this person, they not all the way. They they not the one for you in your mind. But you just gonna see how it play out. Like, if you gonna fuck with someone, fuck with someone because of them. Accept them for them. Don't accept them because they got certain things. Mm-hmm. Cause I need to know if I'm with someone. If I lose every, <laughs> if I lose everything, then I'm st- that yeah, they're still then gonna we be. Good. Then we good. Like we still good. If if I'm dealing with someone who's like they got like preconceived notions, like they not fuck with me just for me, then. Don't do it, like. That's why I ended being when you said that shit earlier, though, with the, oh yeah, I'm a build shit and then find somebody. I don't want to do that. That's then you're gonna me. be with me for that thing, cause like think about it. When we talk to girls, but it's we tell them me, what like, we got along in the talking stage of like, like what our dreams and aspirations is or what we got going on for ourselves. Mm-hmm. So if I say, so like say if now I'd be like, oh yeah, I got dreams of playing ball and shit like that. I'm going to college, and they say a couple years from now I'd be like, I got millions in my fucking bank account. Did mm-hmm. she hear that? Think she not ready. What? She, she there. You feel me? That's gonna make her like me more just because like she's gonna find a way to like me. Once you got motion, they're gonna find a way to like you. They're gonna, oh yeah, I gotta like him for this. But I ain't gonna I ain't, I ain't gonna show that I'm there for that. But you feel me, I'm there for this. So it's like I wanna build the shit from while I'm going up. That's when it's gonna be there because now you I can say that you were there when I didn't have shit. I didn't have nothing. I didn't have nothing to give but my love. I can't that's... say for me at the moment, just for me personally. Yeah, I'm not even like looking for like love right now. Yeah, it's right also now, like, it's also not. I'm not, really just tr- working on myself. Bro. That's what I'm saying. It's yeah. not much of a like a. It's not as much as like a talking about money or jobs. It's also yeah. talking about like mentality, like yeah. being ready for a relationship in like a mm-hmm. physical and spiritual way. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. if you're not right with God, you can't be right with somebody else. Like, cause you got, cause if I'm being real, it, it, me personally, I would never tell a a, a girl how much money I really have off the bat. Like, I will never let shit. Yeah, they make, I would never do it. Just because, like, that's 
They hear that. Oh, they is going to be with you. Just off of the fact that they know you got some, some treasure. So, something broke. I'm not going to do no shit like that. I'm not going to do no shit like that. I'm trying to figure out what type of you want to for you. Then once, once time goes on, then we can we can discuss on what my pockets really be looking like. But I'm gonna fuck because my pockets is your pockets. That's why I tell bro. Every every girl, every but I don't give a fuck. Every girl that every girl I talk to, I tell them at the end of the day, if I was to sign a fucking multi, if I was to sign a hundred million dollar check right now, you're going to manage it. That's what females are. Females are good with managing the managing the house. <laughs> we can build it. That's so. That's not a good thing. No, it's a great thing. No, no, I agree. Female, I was gonna say females. Fe- fe- females are. Fe- she's no, never gonna touch any of my money, but she's gonna get all of it. You know what I'm saying? Can I say this? She's not gonna touch yeah, none of it, but she's gonna get can all of it. Good. Can I say this? She never touched a single one of my paychecks. She got a thousand dollars. Also. I'll, I'll, anything you say, we're gonna respect it too. Like, we're gonna respect like yeah, two absolutely. different genders. But that's why I wanted to piggyback off of what you and Chris mm-hmm. were saying. Like that's why when I first met y'all friends, mm-hmm. I know brother. that he, <laughs> brother. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. I knew that he was a he was an artist. When I got to know him more, I knew that he he's a great artist. He got deals. He got mm-hmm. things coming up. He mm-hmm. be working with so many other artists. Music blowing up. It's a lot. But I always tell him like. You know, I I love the fact that you're doing what you love. That's good, but mm-hmm. I I'm not in it for not a ring. I'm in it for Julian. I want to be mm-hmm. with Julian. I love Julian. I want to marry Julian one day. I'm not in it for not a ring. I like not a ring. I like his music. Play my man music, but I love Julian. That's so fucking that's that's real. That's so beautiful. <laughs> That's the manager, bro. I feel like, bro, your girl, your girl got to be your manager, bro. Because, like I said, bro, a girl know how to manage a house. We can go out there and get the shit for the house. Like, if I go out here and buy a fucking couch for the crib, and I put it somewhere, she that shit look ugly. And you might know it don't. And then when she move into that spot, you be like, damn, it was a good spot right there. She get a good carpet for it. The paint might not look good in the room. She can you paint it this way. I'm telling you, I don't know what girls you deal with, but the females that I know, bro, I would trust them with shit. No, I definitely would. I can, I can trust I my, my I can trust my stepmom. Too. I can trust my mom. Yeah, I can I got, trust my grandma. I gotta have my own little touch. Yeah, I gotta have my own little touch. If I want to couch in that corner, because I want to have a fucking TV right here or some shit, like I gotta have that. Hello. When I get home from work, I'm gonna take my shoes off and sit where the couch. Where the fuck I want to do that? It's my crib. What the hell? I don't give a fuck. Where is that? As long as I can sit down. Well, that's, cool. that's, that's true, you. also, but like, I don't. I bro, don't all I need is a fat, <laughs> dumbass TV. Like, you see how I many. Bro, all I need is my no, two that's TVs that's, next yeah. to something and be able to see them. That's what true. If you, what, if you, I, what if, like, for years of your life, you've had a, a, <laughs> an envisioning of what you wanted your fucking living right. room, your everything to look like? like no, like, I've like never talked garage, to none of y'all about that. I already, that. Know I already want with my man cave. See, now my man cave, she has nothing to do with the man cave. I need at least a little part of it. No, the man cave is the true. The man cave. That makes sense. Okay, the man cave. Oh, the man cave is. I'm not trying to even say the that. The man cave is what we doing, but the rest of the house she can have it though, bro. Right. I don't give a fuck about what the kitchen look like. I don't give a fuck about what uh, certain shit look like. I don't right care. Right yeah. Okay. I just don't, and that's something that she wants. A female dream every day. But if you walk in that bitch and every build, fucking a fucking house, kitty thing, <laughs> fucking, every all the utensils is pink and purple. <laughs> <and> <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, grown ass woman is that's getting that? That's what we get. No, we be be getting shit him. like this. Like if my girl puts something up on the wall, cool. That shit look good. Go ahead, do your thing. Yeah. But we're not having that shit downstairs though. I mean, but what about if y'all were to do it together? Because yeah, I always said, like, yeah, we be talking yeah. about, like, oh, we're going to decorate the home. And he'd be like, no, nah, I want you to do it. Because he had the same mindset as you. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, you the, you the woman. You could decorate sure, decorate right. you do it. But I was like, I but I was like, like, babe, what if you wanted, like, this? So, like, I don't really know what I would do right here. So, mm-hmm. we just was like, all right, we just want to do this shit together then. Like, that's the way to do it right there. I don't have the no middle. thought about that shit. I concur. <laughs> but the, the whole thing of it is you find a balance, bro. Mm-hmm. You're going to like what you like. She's going to like what she like. Mm-hmm. If you're going to let her do it, let her do what you want. Mm-hmm. But make sure you, you know what I'm saying, don't, don't take your own integrity away, bro. Don't take your own liking. 
Bro, I want to make her come. I, I, man, I'm, I swear to God, I hear everything that you say. And it's going like this. It's, yeah, it's going it's going just because it's like bro i really don't give like it's a lot of you, shit. No, that's, that's good I, no, yeah that's y'all house is gonna be fine. different yeah. y'all house is gonna be different that's, that's why we're all different day. people but me i don't really think about decorating my living room I'm gonna have a i think about hey, decorating my man cave I, I, I don't really sit there but that's that's something I'm that i want my, i want to give my room. female see that's that shit i'm talking about so you know i want to give my so you wouldn't be blown if you walk in your living room and that shit is fucking hot pink Right. Everything is not gonna Barbie do that. She got. How do you know? It's God respect, damn. bro. That's like that's like it's 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 a certain it's a it's a. She, all right, she, she listen to me, right? But what grown woman is gonna decorate their home? You don't know that. Listen to me. You, you know. know I know what you know. I know. Grown woman, twenty twenty four. You know. Listen to me. Listen to me. You know. If he don't gotta open up his mouth, right? He only gotta. Open up his shit. No. You just know not to do certain shit. Because I know, like, in our home, most likely right, y'all, y'all are going to be what in color, there, right? What color I know, the walls I know a 23 year old right now. She's going to be like a cream color. color. That's cool. That's would you, a cream would you color. You don't give a fuck. I would want that. Like a cream color. Like cream and olive. Yeah, that's that's what we agree on. But y'all already talked about that shit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. First of all, first of all, it wasn't talked about. I said it. We ain't talking about it. That was some shit. Somebody pretend to be the girl. Yeah. We had we had things. He, a, he asked me, he was like, babe, how do you want the house to look? I was like, I want earth tones. Like, I want it to be. No. See y'all, okay. babe. We'll see you from there. You can y'all both agree. Yeah. Okay, cool. Fuck no, I don't want it to be blue. I want a little bit of black on that wall, white you on that wall. I want the ceiling to be gray. So it's just fuck what you talking about. Yeah, bro. Then why would you be with a girl that'd be like fuck what you talking about? No, I would know that was me. Oh, <laughs> but what I'm saying oh. is, but I'm saying is your reaction, right? To his reaction, <laughs> it'd be fuck what but you talking about. Care. Everything after that, I don't give a fuck. That's the problem. Cause you will not win. First so of all, she gonna say that she if she wants something, it's fucking my thing. Look like, bro. Right. Oh, no, no, no. First of all, let's stop the my it, shit. Bro. It's ours. The First of all, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, yeah. ours. So, if so it, like, y'all are thinking about what y'all are thinking. That's gonna cause conflict in the but household. You, gotta, under, you can't you let a person be them. It's gonna cause conflict. It's not our house. Listen, listen, listen. What you say? You just gotta understand this. What did you say? What did I say? What did he say? Wait, what did he say? I was ready to say, you gotta understand this. What if I already got my own crib, like before I even met this person? And she moved in. Then she moved in. But it's new furniture. But it's new furniture, though. So, it's new furniture. Regardless, though, regardless. Cause, uh, like she, for example, like they got the uh, the yeah, competing beds. Yeah, I think they got that balance though. What if, what if, yeah. what if yeah. she would have found the balance? Like, but like, I'm not gonna, gonna, gonna give her full creative control. Just like, like it's just I got creative mind too. Like I want. Wait, babe. Okay, control. I have a question. Before oh, this conversation. Right? Ooh. No, no, wait. Before this conversation, did you want me to have full control uh, of decorating the home? Yeah, cause I don't. I'm not an interior designer. He gives a fuck. But but that's just me. Man, me. I'm a man, bro. We don't give a fuck about it. How many times you've ever looked at a fucking couch or some shit? Look, look, look. The only thing I look at couch every motherfucking day. I have to every single fucking day. Do you see a couch here? Jesse from fucking. There was girl in here. I've been helping Jesse design this shit. Pick up my couch, April. This girl. He said that's your girl. Man. I got your nigga sit on metal chairs and <laughs> my metal chairs. I don't, I don't even know. know but look, if your girl, girl was here, bro, listen to me. If your girl, if your girl was here and it was like on some type of shit, like y'all went to like a furniture store. Mm. She gonna walk around that motherfucker. Oh my god, baby, this look nice. Me what too. You gonna say? Oh my god, baby, this look nice. No, I've never, I've never, I've never. Nice. I've never say that's not going in my if house. If that's not. No, 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 wait, Jesse, you just contradicted yourself though. You said, look what I got y'all sitting on right now. Metal chairs that are. Cause you don't give a fuck. If you I'm, had a girlfriend though, no, no, she would have probably had us sitting on an ice egg. You feel me? Cause she, she want that. With an ottoman right there in the table and shit. I think I'm talking about it. would have been a couch or some shit in here if I had it. I would have got it right now. So but like, that's what I'm saying with that with that second person, with that second, but like, so say if she move in, now you have a second income. Now y'all can get the shit together, but majority of the time, your grind mode is going to be on a whole different level because now you got a girl in the crib. Mm -hmm. You feel me? You're going to, I don't give a fuck. Me, my grind level is going to be on that. Babe, give whatever the fuck you want. As long as it looks good, and I can You can't it. say that. As long as it looks good, it's respectful. Yes, I do. It's gonna be respectful. It's gonna be respectful. Like, if this okay, shit okay, is fucking ugly. That's what I've been saying the whole time. Can I put it like this? Can I put it like this? 
I like different fabrics. Like I like touching clothes. Like I like, I like shit like that. Like I like looking at what's in my house. Yeah, I just like that. Yeah. Like that that's Personally, that's me. Like mm-hmm. even when, when it comes to the time, my room's gonna look crazy. I promise you. I'm gonna walk in my room like, damn. Okay. Hey, if you <laughs> like doing shit like this, I can see why you would say this with your girl. Yeah. That's why I'm saying it. Some people don't care. Like. Like I was there when my mom picked out. I was there when my mom picked out this stuff. As long as it's not fucking dumb, smacky, mm-hmm. ugly, bro. Dumb, smacky, ugly. Then it's like, all right, what the fuck are we doing? But I'm not ready to deal with no fucking girl that's that that got an ugly interest anyway. We're gonna have common grounds. That's what the fucking. I'm a nerd. I already know your first color. I already know your favorite color and shit like that. So you're not even gonna get nothing outside of that color. You're not even gonna, yo. Maybe. Girls are so girls are so particular. What the fuck? I ain't even told you. Any female house that I know, and I've been raised up around all females, bro, they know how to do shit mm-hmm. the right nice. way. And you're going to sit down and look at it like, yo, this shit do actually look good. Because I, I can put it in their hands. I already know what type of female you are. You're not going to go overboard and get no dumbass fucking, no fucking see-through couch. But you're not going to get no doo-doo brown couch. You're going to get something that look nice. Yeah. It's going to be oh, hard. And then, a, yeah. then the fuck, we're not going to have a, a pink wall, bitch. blue wall, this wall, this wall. Yeah, we're going to get that cream. Is. Or we're going to get like a, a, a certain, we're going to get like a, probably like a sky blue in like the kids room or some shit like that. Like know. We're going to get certain shit because I know what type of female I want. And I know what type okay. of female I'm going to settle for. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to settle for no shit. And we're going to talk about this. Ooh, like they oh, already had talks time. before they even had the crib. You Ashbury feel me? So you already know. You already know what y'all want. Y'all already having them talks before y'all even having the crib. We're not gonna be having this crib. We're not gonna be having them talks in the fucking in the furniture store. We already came here to get something. Like I want a California king. I want a fucking Wyoming king, like a big ass bed. So I already so you already know. I'm mean, already know what I'm getting myself into. Off the back, I'm tripping if you bring some ugly shit in here though. Off the back, I'm tripping. Bring that shit. Take that shit out. Off the back though. Off the back. You just know who you fucking with, bro. You're not really fucking with nobody that's ugly. Would you? Would, what do you mean by ugly? Your ex, bro. If your ex had to like put some shit in your room, are you like? Can you trust her to put some good shit in your room? Mm-hmm. So but, what the fuck? Cause I want my own little touch too. What's your own little touch? Shit, I don't know. What if I want a fucking? Mount? You want bikes and shit. In I want to mount a Glock to the wall. So okay, I'm right. That's not gun compartments all right. over my crib. That's what I'm saying. Y'all are not giving me no fucking color of a couch or anything. You talking about a bike in the room? The only yeah, thing oh. I heard you say is a bike in the room and a gun in the wall. Couch. You ain't talking about no color in the wall, no this and that. Because you don't give a what color. What about the rugs? What about? Oh yeah, how are you going to decorate the banister in the kitchen? Well, I don't even know what the fuck. A what plan? What plans are you going to have in the corner of the living room? I don't know. About your mom is going to be there. I know your fucking mom. I, I know your mom and your dad. Your mom and your dad is going to come in there and be like, Jason, what the fuck do you have in here? <laughs> but my mom is going to say the same thing. And my mom is going to want to. They're going to want to be home. home That's like what I'm saying. I'm gonna come home if she come in there and see some dumb shit, bro. Don't put no dumb shit in there. That, that's what I'm saying. That's some shit. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm bike on the couch. I'm not going to put no dumb shit. Bike on the couch. Bike on the dining room table. Stripper Paul. Y'all know. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm gonna have too. I forgot about that shit. Uh, wait, is that here? Yeah, I, no, no, no. Is it? Uh, is it this? Uh, I said. Oh shit. A stripper pole? Yeah. I don't want no. I'm leaving that up to my. I'm the, bro, I swear to God. Chat, 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 chat. Whoever is out there, as far as like male, female, if you're male. Let that girl work. Let her cook. You trust her to do that. And if you got your mom in your life, if you got your aunt in your life, if you got your cousins and stuff like that, let them work. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to make all the money. I'm going to make the millions of dollars and shit like that. And I want my mom, because I want my mom to come to the crib. When I finalize that motherfucker, I want her to open up the door with me. I want my grandma there. So they're going to envision shit for me because they already know, bro. They've been... My grandma and my mom has known me for 20 years. They know what the fuck I want without even opening up my mouth. They know what I want. So, and I want they little touches in it because I didn't live in their houses for you feel me a long ass time. I like the I like the certain shit or the carpet that they had. Yeah, they know about more shit than me. So I'm like, yeah, I like that pillow right there. I like that couch right there. But my man cave, do not touch it. What are you gonna do? I want room? me and my dad and my brothers to design do? that. I'm not gonna do shit by myself in our house. In our house, you feel me? That's not what we do. That's just that's just not something that we do. When it's when it's ours, it's ours. It's opinion. I respect your opinion. You respect my opinion. We're gonna come to a common ground. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be something. But the man cave, like 
your room, like, or the room or the closet, shit like that. We got two closets. I'm going to let you do you. Or the kitchen. That's you. You're going to be cooking. If, I'm going to let you design whatever the fuck you want in the kitchen. I don't yeah, know if you're going to be a pink I don't know if you're going to be a pink house. I'm going to be cooking. Chicken is not pink. We good. Like, you know, the taco good. I'm good. I'm going to let you do that. You won't let me, but she already going to let you top. know yeah. you can have your man kid. Do what you got to do. Or your garage. You want the garage. Yeah, I want the garage. You feel me? It ain't shit that a female is going to put in the fucking garage but the car. Mm-hmm. What do you want to go in the garage? Have you ever uh, thought about me in a man cave or some shit like that? That's what I'm saying. No. Yeah, that's shit that they've yeah. never thought about. But inside yeah, the house, I can't share the garage. Come on, bro. Yeah, I, I don't even think having a woman cave really exists. That's what I'm. That's like, what I'm saying. Saying. So it's a um, whole house. Situation. Nothing. Yeah, basically, yeah. because we're oh. always like decorating everywhere. The room and shit like that. The like, only on, room I would have like designed for me would be a prayer room. So serious. I always wanted to make like a little cute little prayer room and stuff, lights and all of that. I'm gonna tell you what's in my garage though. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna be living like Batman, nigga. You gonna see motherfucking boomerangs and shit. You gonna see a whole lot of cats. Mm. That's what I'm talking about, you see. But why can't that be the living room? This nigga said boomerang. Why can't that be the living room? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm not going to Jason's house. I'm not going to Jason's house. This shit gonna be like fucking despicable me. You flying around in traps and shit like that. You gotta keep on ducking and shit. Yes. What the fuck? You turn a grenade. That bitch. The fuck? That was good. You remember the door? You gotta duck an axe swing and shit like that. Fucking book at the book. Yes. A whole layer. A whole layer. Yes. No. That's just ready to go. Oh, yes. my man cave, bro. My oh, man yeah, cave is I, gonna be cool. My bedroom is gonna have like, I want like the little, little. I don't know what the fuck I want. In my, I have never thought that far. I just thought about my man cave. <laughs> I just want my man cave. You feel me? I'm gonna pull up, James. Don't worry, I'm gonna pull up. But it's good, bro. Like as me growing up, you gotta let your girl be your girl. You're gonna let your man be your man. For everybody out there, let your girl be your girl. Let your man be your man. At the end of the day, y'all gonna have y'all disagreements and y'all gonna have y'all agreements. But don't let that get in between greatness. Because at the end of the day, if y'all want to be for a long time, and, and, and... You feel me? And can I piggyback on what you just said, Chris, uh-huh. real quick? I know in a lot of times relationships is 50-50, but sometimes if your partner feeling 30, you're going to have to be that 70 year old for y'all to keep it 100. <laughs> And I tell my man that all the time. Anytime he feel like, babe, I'm, I'm not feeling it today, I'm 30, I'm up there on 70 because I'm going to make sure we good. Mm. Just like I know that if I was on 20 or even if I was on 10, he's going to be that 80 or that 90 to pick us up so we always going to be straight. That's a and fact. that is very you important feel me? in a relationship. I like that. Said, that's true. I see that shit now. But, I'm walking but me, <laughs> I'm walking if you back. feeling 20, <laughs> I still got to be that 100. I still got to be up here. We need a plus. Just because if you if you feeling bad and you don't want to get out the bed, then shit, I got to take care of the kids. I got to take them to practice. You and your periods and shit like that. Oh, you pregnant. I'm going to have to do 100. You feel me? I'm going to have to carry the bags. I'm going to have to do what the fuck I have to do. And that's just me putting on my big boy jacket. So I just know, like, I, it ain't that rum for that. You feel me? And I like your analogy. You feel me? Like, and shit like that. But I got to stay at that 100. Because we... As a man, like it's 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 really nothing else but to cater to your woman and be a good husband oh God, that we really require out of life. You feel me? Like we we look, bro, I think about this shit all day. It's just like you just want to have that 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 good relationship with that woman just because it feels good, not as solid, twenty four seven. Like with my with my dad and my stepmom and shit like that. Shout out to y'all. Y'all gonna look at this, but I really admire y'all just because. Through the through the negative and through the positive, y'all stayed together and, and, and y'all raised three young men. You feel me? And and we gonna take care of y'all one day. You feel me? And I know, like y'all gonna be good. Like y'all gonna forever be good. Even my mom. You feel me? Like my mom is gonna forever be good. And she raised a young man that's that's really gonna change shit. So, like, at the end of the day, I, I want I want my fem I want my female to be like what. The same shit I the same shit I want for my mom and my grandma and shit like that is the same shit I want for my female. You feel me? I don't want you had to had to do a lot. You feel me? I don't want you to have a boss. You feel me? I don't want you had to clock into nowhere. I want you to do whatever the fuck you gotta do. If you wake up and you wanna go shopping, you feel me? If you wake up, you wanna fucking go sightseeing, shit. Go do what you gotta do. Or take care of the kids. You wanna take the kids to the park? Shit, I'm, shit, we cool. I'm gonna be on that field. Or we going to the game. You feel me? Whatever you want to do, you should be able to do it. And I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna make that happen. So yeah. Who wants to be your girl? <laughs> 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 so 
type shit. Yeah. <laughs> anybody got home. anybody else got like something to say? Like why we why we still there? Like what what is a topic that you want to touch on? Cause I didn't I just said a lot of fucking topics. My brain is still a little cloudy. Mm. I gotta think a little bit. What is the topic that you want to touch on? I got something to say, but it was like a topic we already went through. Mm. You asked what you asked, uh, what could you ask more out of in a relationship? And that's as a family, friends, or something. I would say. Oh, um, she ain't never even asked for that shit. We no, no, got no, that's good. Yeah, we didn't. Because I had an answer. Y'all thought you got away from that shit. Damn, we did. We did ramble away from that shit. My fault, Chad. Damn, we just we talking. But. Yeah, back to what y'all back um, to that. I'm going to say one. The one thing that I would want from you would be... Hmm. <laughs> you like digging my ass, man. Huh? No, I'm not. I would, I would want vulnerability. I would want you to be vulnerable with me. I would want you to, you know, let me know when you're upset. Let me know when you're mad. Let me know when you're frustrated because I want to be there. I want to take care of you. Yeah, just make sense. That's a good one. Yeah. Good words. Mm-hmm. Vulnerability. Yeah, you do. I just want you to keep it up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Vulnerability. Yeah. Don't, don't have a slip. Yeah. 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 You mean? Baby, what would you want? It's so beautiful. Is it gone? Nah, that motherfucker. Hey, that motherfucker coming up, though. That motherfucker coming up. I need four more points from him. And I need them to score a fucking touchdown. Who you, who you bet on? I bet on uh, the Rams and Cam Thomas and the Ravens. Mm, so, good luck. I hope that motherfucker hit that nigga broke. Hey, babe, what you want to say? What you expect out of me and what you expect out the game? Out the mm. friends? Out the bucks? You want me to go with you first mm-hmm. or you want me to go with the guys? Uh, I want to go with me first, because I feel like y'all will call me. No, 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 no. You got to say the best for last, though, brother. You good, bro? Say the best for last, so we can cry a little bit. Oh, yeah, I want to cry a little bit. Okay, baby, yeah, tell me first. Because they did going to cry. All right, um, I would say the best for last. I'm already crying. From you? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. Save the best for last. No, save what you want out of your tell us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what you want out of the guy? Right, I got two things I'm gonna put in the one. Mm-hmm. I want you to stick with your morals and values. Mm-hmm. A lot of people lose a lot of things in life because they don't stick to their morals and values. Mm-hmm. I know that's right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro, slap your wrist back, bro. Like, nah, bro. I'm being serious. I just said it in a funny voice. No, Because that's real. I know exactly what you're Nah, for real, though. Stick with your morals and values and, and stay true to yourself. Before you have loyalty for others, you got to have loyalty with yourself. Mm-hmm. And that's way deeper than just being said. If you can't come to yourself and, and you know, be willing to work on your shit, be more disciplined, mm-hmm. you can't have, you can't expect that from other people. What you expect from others, you got to expect from yourself. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now, for you, uh, you know me, Chris? Yeah. You agree? I really like, I mean, you, you do it. You, you might do it. Yeah. Uh, just keep going. You, but you know. what do I do? What do I do? Uh, so what we got in the middle. So what we got in the middle? So we got to stick. Stick to our ways. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But we don't raise that up. We can do a better job. Way better job. Way better job. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As long as, as long as we, you know, we we come down, we just look for each other so we can both be a little ahead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As far as y'all niggas concerned, bro, stay in truth to yourself, bro. It don't matter about a nigga status. It don't matter about who don't got this, who got this. As long mm-hmm. as y'all know we all love, we all got love for each other. Nobody gotta feel like. We gotta walk on eggshells, bro. It's an open, open conversation, my nigga. Yeah. Okay. One call away, it's one drive away, it's one Uber. It don't matter, bro. It's no excuses. Mm-hmm. Always. No excuses. I always said, like, God forbid anything happens for like his career, like, it's, I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm still, I still want to be with you. Oh, bro, I'm gonna be real, and I, I'm gonna be the one artist to say this. If I was, God forbid, but if I didn't, if this music shit didn't work out for me, even at this moment right now, 
I have no problem making a nine to five and being a real regular human being on some man shit. Nigga said I'm four other niggas nigga. to count on, nigga. If I sign a hundred million dollar contract, nigga, we all made it. But, nigga. Oh, but even we but ain't even signing the contract, nigga, we get millions. <laughs> <laughs> but even with that being said, though, the type of nigga I am, bro, mm-hmm. like. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a get it till I can't. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. like yeah. I wouldn't even possible. Yeah, bro. Ooh, Ooh, big ass AMP crib. Yeah. Oh my god! I don't even gotta oh, see you. That. Yeah, I don't right. even have to see you. You can no, do whatever the fuck you want. Can I, I have my own wings in the same crib? Doing this shit, doing doing this shit in the whole. We should, bro. It don't Let's go right now, Texas. We gotta go to Houston. 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 Mm-hmm. Texas, where they charge you every time you get on the highway? Bro, Florida, bro, you can't get on any highway in Florida without paying $7. No, fuck no, they got an express. This is some kind of express. I ain't gonna lie, they got that. They got that. Babe, I'm not gonna get another spray because I know you're gonna get thirsty. Excuse me. Hold on. My bad. Yeah. But yeah, let's go right now. Content House, Houston, Dallas. That's the number one spot for most. We gotta, go we gotta get popping though first. I just realized poppin'. another place that people don't talk. To. What's in Seattle? Shit. Bullshit. Bullshit. Yeah, that's just bad. What the fuck is Seattle? My grandfather lived there, bro. Ain't shit there. Yeah, Nothing there. Seattle. It's just a lot of Seattle, right? Bro. Like, Where's bro. that shit near? Washington. 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 It's across the entire country. It is literally yeah. like. The, Isn't it's it like, on top of Washington? I mean, shit. Isn't it on top of California? I don't even know where yeah, that is. Yeah, so It's over there. It's, li- it's literally yeah. completely yeah. opposite. Yeah, man. Like, is that you? It's it's as far you? as it gets. Yeah. Nah, that ain't me when I was younger, but that's another picture. Oh, shit. Why you cut your hair? I don't know. That's back when we me. I really don't know. I have way longer hair than that. I do not know. I, I be doing dumb shit. He called me a big dumb fuck with a lot of, with a lot of hair and I cut it. <laughs> that was him. <laughs> Mm-hmm. That was me. Yeah, see, now I'm ready to cut my hair again. Mm. Cut the beard. No, not doing it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Wait, man, he cut his beard, call me. I swear. That little ass baby. Nigga walked through my like, door. Like, I'm like, who the, the, the fuck? The, the, he had a split. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, who the fuck is that? You got that picture? That's right. With the baby face? Mm. He got a hood on his shoulder. Baby butt smooth. Like, this nigga, you can see all his dimples and shit. Like you just yes, you can see his bone structure. Hell, <laughs> 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 yeah, young. Hey, yo, why we all got a pick, bro? <laughs> 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 What's some military shit? I had a bald face. <laughs> look at my lip, man. Yo, you was in the military. <laughs> Yeah, no, I want to go to no no. I know you went to the military. You want to go to the military? No, I, I was about to say. Come on, like, I know. Man, fuck the benefits. Get out of there, bro. I got you. I just gotta go. It's cool, bro. Life will get better. It's gonna get better, bro. What do you? What are your thoughts on people that lose ambition? That lose the lose focus? Yeah. Mm. Um. It's a lot of distractions in the world, so it is. I mean, it's easy to lose focus on what you want, but you just gotta be the type of person to make a comeback. Man. I was at my job and, I, and somebody asked me that. They asked me because I was telling them about like my motivational shit, and I was telling them like, "Yeah, I motivate people." They said, "If you had to tell somebody right now," he said, "If you had to tell me something motivational, what would you tell me?" I say, "Excuse me, spend a lot of time in your brain, just because it's like." If you're not thinking 24-7, if you're just going through life like a bot, like, you have no emotion type shit, like, what are you? Like, you got to have your own type of, like, feel in life and know how to deal with things. So, be in be in your own mind, know yourself, and, like, don't take the negative as negative. Take it as, like, more of, like, a, a good thing because if you didn't go through that bad thing, you wouldn't be the person that you are now. So it's like, I look at the negative like it's good just because if you didn't go through that breakup or if you didn't go through that fucked up job or if you didn't go through that fucked up person that you ran into the other day, like, Mm -hmm. you wouldn't have known that shit was out here. You feel me? You would have been so naive to a lot of shit. So it's like, now that you woken up, like, now that you woke up to, like, the certain shit that came upon your life, I mean, I'm good to that shit. I'm lucky that shit chose me. I could have went without that lesson, to be honest. Nah. No, I definitely needed to hear that. Yeah, because a lot of the negative shit, bro, we get so caught up in it. And a motherfucker is sitting behind bars right now because he heard some negative shit. 
living for the rest of his life. I always he say, acted on some shit like that. I always say, right now, bro, bro, don't ever make decisions based off your emotions. Mm. Impossible. Yeah, don't do that shit. That's what I'm saying with taking that well, time to I think. I say, ne- don't do it based off negative emotions. Mm. If you, mm. Even positive, because you can make a you can make a good thing, you can make a good decision, and like say if you get like twenty thousand right now, you like damn, I could get a new car, but that could be a good decision. You feel me? But you look at it as like, damn, I could have saved up a little bit, or I could have invested something now. I could flip that shit to like fucking forty. You feel me? Like you feel me? A fifty and sixty, like don't yeah. don't that's, be so quick to do something. To, you feel I feel me? Like when it comes to that, that's just about okay. If I get twenty thousand dollars, that's just about you got a budget. Like, about using your brain at that yeah. point. Like you could do whatever. You can turn that twenty thousand into a goddamn five hundred thousand if you put yeah, in the car. Yeah, yeah. You got to just know what to do with money at that point. Yeah, yeah. you can make a bad or be poor decision out of a good and positive. You know what I'm saying? I was like, it, it goes vice versa. Like this, you say you play your cards right. Like you said, you don't act off your emotions. Yeah. People make strong decision making very, very hard for themselves, and they wonder why they gotta get out of breath. And I'd be a perfect example. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Niggas a lot in my story. And yeah, shit, bro. Everybody got a story. Everybody got a sad story. Everybody got a a disclaimer on their shit, but yeah, the ones that leave that shit dangled over their head is the ones that. Still have to continue to drop that rep. You gotta make a good, a good decision. Then stay positive, bro. And to be content. A lot of people will tell you not to be content, but if you chasing something twenty four fucking seven, like how you said, like when you was talking about your situation, you said that you was chasing something twenty four seven. You'll miss out on life. You'll miss out on a good opportunity. Yeah, but or like you'll miss out on a on a like some motherfuckers can't even be in good scenery without pulling out their phone. You feel me? Or like texting somebody or like doing something good and like <laughs> like it is or doing something good and just congratulating yourself. They want that congratulations from other people because they want to feel like, oh yeah, I'm wanting and shit like that. But you want it by yourself. But like the thing is, in those moments, you feel like you had everything. I felt like I had everything, and in reality, it really wasn't much. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. And, being and I was content. so content. Bro, to me, bro, I was content. You but was, I wanted, I wanted to. I know. make sure I don't ever get comfortable. That's what I do. I be comfortable well, sometimes, shit, but not yeah. too comfortable. I don't get too comfortable. If I get I too comfortable, I get comfortable, but not too comfortable though. Yeah. Because I could, I could, I could be comfortable. I'm not doing. I bad get comfortable when all this shit said and done. You got to be comfortable with being uncomfortable sometimes. Yeah. I'm not comfortable. I only do that when that that only apply to me when I'm working out, but when. Ever like other situations, nah. like I feel like when I'm when I'm in like a comfortable like right now, us talking we all are comfortable, so we can like show the world our talents. If I was in here with a whole bunch of motherfuckers that I really didn't trust and I'm un- and I'm uncomfortable, I'm not letting them know what the fuck is going on with me, or I'm not really gonna show my intelligence because I'm gonna play dumb and let y'all like try to trick me out of my spot. But y'all trick yourself out your spot. I'm gonna let y'all talk more than I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna just sit here and listen. You feel me? So it's like. In certain situations, if I'm comfortable, like with you, when you in the booth, you comfortable, yo, you can make a fucking hit. And I tell you, you already know what type of music I like from you. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And it's some shit. I'm not a yes man. I tell you if I didn't like you, you feel me? But yeah. you know what I like. Yeah. Him. You already know what the fuck I like when this comes down to certain shit. Even when we in the gym. Like, we both be having our own say-so and shit. When it comes to you, when we be talking, we got our own say-so. But when we're all comfortable, we show our talents because we be chilling and shit like that, bro. Hooping. Bro, you never know. People got to actually see what the fuck we're like when we're around each other, when we're when we with the guys. I don't know how you are when you're not comfortable. You feel me? You get real quiet. You feel me? I do the same thing. So sometimes you just got to sit back and just know that you doing good. Bro, you're doing him for a long time until he really opened up his mouth about his problems. I thought that this nigga was good. He had two cars, bikes. He got guns. This nigga got money. He got everything. But then when he opened up his mouth, I'm like, damn, he not really fucked up about it. But nigga, you got more than me. You feel me? In your situation. Like, yeah, and, and bro, I, I would say in certain situations, you got more than me just because, mm-hmm. nigga, I don't even got a bed to sleep on. I sleep on a fucking couch. Right. So it's like, it, it's, 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 nigga, so it's like certain shit like that, like with your car. You feel me? I got my whip, but it's like, you had certain shit. I'm not saying you be comfortable. But I mean, you do no, gotta be a little bit appreciative yeah, than what blessed. you got. Yeah, 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 most definitely. Yeah, we all bless and shit like that. Like, mm-hmm. it, could, it could definitely be worse. So I just be wanting you, 
Like, I don't know if you really be trolling, but I just be wanting Sometimes you. Like, I don't, want, I don't want nothing to happen to you, nigga. Just off some crash. I don't shit. Fuck no. Like, that drive to work sleepy and shit. Bro, get some don't fucking do that. Don't eat, don't Stop doing that shit, bro. That, that, that shit blows works, me. Don't no, I did ask, look, I did ask, like, it's, a, it's a literally a family problem. Like, my dad done the same Stop shit. Stop doing that shit. Please, I get bro. You, I get you gotta some, get some rest. I get I'm some only fucking... Get, what y'all talking about? I came out to do a pot. I'm only getting four hours of sleep if I go home to sleep right now. Fuck. And that's why I get my... Go to sleep here. Hell, I'm gonna work stuff. Ah, fuck. If I did, I probably would. That's why I literally put my jacket on, because... I fuck with that. Right now, I'm gonna be able to get tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Well, I see you fucking later. I don't want you to go to fucking yeah. sleep behind the wheel, but that shit, that shit. But the thing me. is, I don't even sleep no more, bro. Yeah. Like, I don't, I can't sleep, bro. Yeah. When you go from sleeping get. with somebody every single night for a whole year and then sleeping alone, it's like, I can't even sleep. That shit's bad. Your situation might be worse than me, yeah. No, well, no, I spent four years with somebody. But your situation might be worse than me because I only slept with that girl, like, probably like twice. Man. So it's like, it's, it's different, but... You know, we got our own we got our own ways. We're going to deal with certain things. Yeah, Pop, my guy got to leave. You know, he got to get to work. I got to work yeah, tomorrow, man. Yeah, yeah. I got to take care of yourself, bro. I will. But, hey, that was a great session. Yeah. I feel, every time we talk, I just feel like it's, like, more and more love and, like, getting to know y'all. Oh, yeah, this is going to be the ender before you leave. Go ahead, go ahead. What, did you, what did you get out of this situation? What did you get out of this talk, this whole thing? I got more POVs. Mm. And... What POV do I? Uh... It, let, it it taught me a lot of stuff. Like some people, they just think differently. Yeah. People just think, like mm. we all think differently, but we all got this same intention. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, we just gonna be happy. <laughs> That's the real shit. Even if it's in a different ways, like the end goal is just for us to all just be happy. Just be so, happy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, like I said, every time we talk, I just learn so much more. Not only about the guys, but like about like how to like work together as like a team, like. It's shit we can do together to like better ourselves and our future. I'm trying mm-hmm. to tell you. So like, me and Chris hitting the gym fucking almost every day. We mm-hmm. send the shit, sending the shit sending the shit in the group chat, you know, good morning, have a good morning, guys. Make sure you do your push ups and shit. Like that's just a small little motivational shit we can do, mm-hmm. like bare minimum for each other. And so every time mm-hmm. we come here and we talk, it's like you just learn a little bit more about the guys. You kind of learn a little bit more about their life and then learn how you can help them help help each other. So it's like every time we come together, it's just it's just a great time. It's mm-hmm. just you learn so much. You feel you feel uh, like you got somebody to talk to, and that's what it's all about. So mm-hmm. definitely um, love the guys. Um, like out of out of a lot of the situations, like now that I'm with the guys and talking, I'm learning how to like articulate my like my sentences and shit like that, and talk more. Just because I wasn't a person to really talk like to the camera. Like I talk to the camera, but now that like we're talking. I know how to talk about actual shit that's meaningful. And like with us, now that we talking about meaningful shit, like our podcast is not about a whole bunch of shit that don't make sense or like people wouldn't want to hear. So it's like every time that I talk, I feel like we get closer to like reaching that person that needs that, that mm-hmm. need to hear something or need help or is going through that day to where it's bad. So like I, I feel like I just get smarter, you feel me, as we talk. And I understand like now... Like, with your point of views and with your point of views or with y'all point of views, now I can look at certain things and incorporate that into my life, you feel me? Like, mm-hmm. your point of views or how you look at certain things, you feel me? I might look at it like, damn, I really fuck with that. Mm-hmm. Let me let me incorporate that to see how, like, my life is going to change. Mm-hmm. So, it's like, I just go about it as, like, now we're just picking each other's brains and shit like that and just keep on going up and, like, you know, I appreciate it, guys. So, it's a good thing that we all all here to do it or mm-hmm. in it, like, together. Man, I mean, nonetheless, bro, like, everybody can come together, share how they speak. I mean, I say share how they speak, share how they feel. I see everybody's mindset, you know, where where we need to be and where I would like, where where I would like y'all to be at, including myself. It's good to, to come together and actually like do this. There's not a lot of people, especially our age, that want to really hell oh, no. Yeah, absolutely. You know hell no. So taking into consideration oh. and Chris's consideration to bring everybody together and then everybody actually honing in and actually doing it, bro. I mean, a lot to me personally. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this is like one and off the podcast. Yeah. Like, we can just do this shit, just chopping it up. I remember when Chris was just like, he was just talking about this shit. I was like, all right, you gotta do it. And then he had, he helped him out. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody put. Everybody picks me. So Put some man. Yeah, hell yeah. I always tell y'all, this is not just mine. Like, if y'all have something to say, 
bro, we can let this shit go to the fucking people. Because it's like, wait, bro, we talk about this shit all the time. So why not get some type of, like, buzz off of it and pay for it? Like, motherfuckers is making money off of this shit. And just talking and having, like, a safe place to talk. So That's if y'all ever got something to talk about, like, bro, I be having shit to talk about 24-7. But it's like, I would rather do it with y'all. But sometimes I got to start making videos on my own because you might not be available. You might not be available. Y'all might not be available. So it's like, I got to start doing shit on my own a little bit. But, yeah, but this is not just my platform. Yeah. We're all on this. It benefits you, it benefits us, mm -hmm. and it also benefits them. Yeah. We making a safe space for us to get anything that we might need to get off our chest, and they might be able to relate to it. Yeah. yeah even if this reaches just one person and helps one person, this whole thing just like this. This whole power. podcast, this any of the videos we make that we either in or in, we're not, regardless if it's out, that could possibly be saving someone's life mm -hmm. right now or later. Real shit. Oh, I love y'all as a group. That's all I gotta say. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's wonderful. So sweet. <laughs> but with Thank that you. being said, we're gonna end it. Everybody got shit to do. Lay y'all guys and we can follow each other on um if y'all want to shout y'all shit out. Y'all already know the only see on all platforms, Instagram, Snap, TikTok, anything, the only see on everything. Fucking if y'all just if y'all want to. Sebi Ring, Nardo Ring. We got another Instagram page coming out with us as a couple, Mr. and Miss Ring. Oh my God! <laughs> Y'all can follow me on IG at Arise Gray, and also on Snapchat at Arise Gray. Well. Yes, sir. <laughs> Say, hey, the step. I'll go. go. All right, that. Yeah. Yeah.